You should be going live momentarily. All appears well on my end. You got it. So we good? We live? We living? Nice. Yep, yep. What's I up, everybody? Yes. How's it going, Lawful Bro? Josiah, Variel, what's up? Ex Libris, what's up, everybody? How is my beautiful chat doing tonight? So, very sorry about the delay. I had some overlay adjustments that I had to make, so I hope you can forgive me. Uh, so you'll notice that the the player list I've uh, I've set like on a scroll. Let me know if you guys think that's too fast or not. I think it's I think it's going at a good tick, but I'm also like I read re like super fast. So looking at it now, it looks good to me at least. Yeah, because like if I went slower than that, it feels like way too slow, and it like hangs between two of the names way too long. You know what I mean? I wish there was a way I could uh, set it to be like timed between each line so it would be more of like a shuffle as opposed to a scroll. But I don't believe that filter for OBS exists because I have looked. To no avail. I am completely without avail ammo. And it's all Scruffles fault. Scruffles, why you do this? Scruffles, why? Scruffles, why? Uh, anyway, uh, we will be being joined by Ewok shortly. Um, he's running a little bit late, uh, so he'll be hopping in whenever he can. And uh, Classy, I'm not sure if he's going to be able to do Sundays or not, but we'll, we'll figure it out. So if if Classy is not able to continue on Divinity of Pain, we'll, we'll get him into another one for sure. <laughs> I'm just looking at my character sheet and I actually wrote down dope ass handshake in my future streams. Uh, yeah, yeah you better have. That's not something that one doesn't make notes for. You do good job. You do good job, Scruffles. Trip, tell her she I know, I it just, it just made me laugh. <laughs> you do a good job. By the way, Trip, I've been brainstorming actual handshakes and stuff all the yeah. Okay. All right. Is that dog in someone else's background or is Sorry. it in my background? Get I can't tell. Second. It's not my doge. You better go get that dog and put it on camera. I, I swear have a to neighbor God. who has a dog that sounds like that, so I couldn't tell if it was somebody else's or Scruffles, you don't get to make a demands dog. when you don't have a camera. Okay. I want to see the dog. Yeah, that's if you too can bad. still hear it, there's not much I can do. <laughs> so I just shut my window. Sorry. I'm gonna I'm gonna hack Scruffles' computer and scramble every image of a dog that comes up on it. <laughs> so it's just pixelated squares. And that'll learn ya. That'll teach ya. Yeah. I can't zoom in. Oh, you, you can't. Never mind. Thank you very much for those hosts, guys. I just got a friggin' wall of auto host. Auto host is so nice. I love that feature. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't set mine up yet. I don't know how it works. Oh, go into me. your settings. Super easy. Yeah, I figured it can't be too. Yeah. Does it, it, does even, it work like, on helps... like a priority basis? You can do a uh, priority list or random. Gotcha. Yeah, I'll have to. I'll have to do something with that. It's real easy. All right, so with a flash of light, you have all come to dread and fear. A bear now stands in front of you. Now, when you say a bear, I mean a human <laughs> ranger. mean like a grizzly bear or like a, an aggressively hairy gay man? <laughs> Either. Okay. Oh, 
dear. Where is he? I don't see him on the map. He's there. I also don't see him. By the way, I apologize if my description sure? of what a bear is was inaccurate. I don't see him. Anyone in to know how I might have gotten it wrong. Right <laughs> oh, there he is. He's blending in with the uh... bottom. <laughs> Okay, well... Why are you bad at eyeballing? I don't know. The minute he pops up, I, like, run over and, like, give him a hug. I was like, dude, you thought you were dead! Boundaries. Please respect boundaries. the boundaries. He's like, oh, oh sorry, sorry, man. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> just, like, back up. I'm just like, where were you? You rock him, he just starts breathing heavily. Uh, <laughs> I don't know where I was. Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> That's been Unless going around. What do I remember? I don't That's know. been going around. <laughs> yeah, trip, yeah, trip can roll no uh, Arcana. None of us really know how we got here. It's all been just a flash of light. Uh, in your adventures thus far, you've seen quite a bit of chaotic influence, uh, especially in terms of things magical. Um, so you're not you're not sure exactly what's causing people to disappear and reappear in these great flashes of light, but um, it's it's definitely chaotic in nature. I see. Which is like how you would how you would view that is kind of up to like how you want to play your character. Um, well, like, how do we track them down wizards, and get them to stop? Like, wizards Let's could essentially be, like, scientists. Um, in a certain regard. Magitech. Well, like, they, they have to learn magic. Like, they're, I believe, the only class that doesn't just intrinsically get some kind of magic. Like, the way it, the spellcast is is explained for like clerics, druids, sorcerers, yeah. warlocks. Wizards are the only ones that have to actually learn. Right. It's always some third party um, or inherent ability. You were born with it type ability or you just get it from divine connection somehow. Um, but wizard is the exception in that you actually have to study and work hard to learn magic. Uh, it just like goes to show so, that anybody can like be a wizard so if they want the to. It's not that special. Well, no, it takes a lot of intelligence. Not everybody yeah, knows. But anyone not can everybody do it, can yeah. figure out how to manipulate the weave, sir. But even fewer people can get chosen and gifted powers. Trip's good at manipulating we uh, weaves. He's gonna open up his own shop. I'd buy one. Yep. Trip's weaves. <laughs> there's, there's a clever name yeah, there. Yeah, Wizard, weaves. Wizard read good. What's the what's a synonym for weave? Well, what kind uh, of weave are we talking about? Like Erkin? interwoven, braid, knot, true tangle, intertwine, conjoin. No, but I mean, I mean, I mean, like the, you know, like it's it's a, it's like a wig, right? But it's not. It's kind of like it's like it's like tied to your to your natural hair. Right? It's, it's a hair yeah, it's sewn in. prosthesis. A hair prosthesis. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's basically a wig. <laughs> a hair prosthesis. Yeah, I mean, I feel like a weave is a fancier kind of more uh, like it's a step up from just a wig. You know, you can buy just a random old wig, or you can get a weave, and that's just more part of your body. You know, it's 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 mm. it's a step up. You know, it's attached. Yeah, exactly. You committed. You commit more to a weave than you commit to a wig. Kind of like how extensions work. I yeah, would imagine. that I don't get neither. Yeah. Okay. I was, I was thinking of getting uh, getting dreadlocks. That's gonna like, take a while. I'm, no, I'm talking like quarter inch long dreadlocks. Oh okay, yeah, take a while. <laughs> Damn. I don't know yeah. how that would work. <laughs> I'm committed. You need a lot of hair for dreadlocks, because uh, it takes off about half the length usually, depending yeah. um, on how I'm, thick your hair is. Well, I'm hairy hair do hair dini, so I'll make it happen. But anyways, let's flash a light. Where are we at right now? 
Oh, Lord. Um, you're exactly where you left off. Last yes. thing you guys did was you caught the Thanksgiving golden turkey. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, we got feathers. <laughs> yeah. I so, I'll anyway. walk up to the guy. Well, the uh, feather's to, gone to... now. Yeah, Remember, give me oh. point. it melded into Remember? you. You get you got an ability score. Oh, point. Yes. Yeah. It was a boon. You got boon. Of course, on. I remember that. I say, hey, which man, of course followed your flower? very <laughs> bizarre performance of slam poetry and blinding special effects. Hey, hey, that performance was fucking lit, man. Okay, so <laughs> slam poetry as directed by Michael Bay. House Party Nine. And Scruffles so. was play. Huh? She doesn't get the reference. She's too good. So I have I've never met this bear bear dude before. Right? Oh yeah, I would like introduce him to the group. I'm I'm terrified. Mickey does not like bears. <laughs> like, you know, people don't like spiders and they're afraid of spiders. Mickey's fine with spiders, but afraid of bears. And you're aware that he's you know. not an actual bear, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. But I mean it still spooks him a bit, you know? Are you saying that out loud? Or are you just thinking it? I'm I'm vis I would be visibly like kinda like scared at first and, and defensive. <clears throat> but then as soon as I would realize like, oh, this this isn't a ferocious grizzly bear about to kill me, like in all the stories. This is just a what, what exactly? Human. What do you look like? Wait, no, you're an elf, right? No, uh, he's human. Oh. Yeah, I just kinda look at him kinda puzzled like Are you scared Ruffles, of did me? you just assume his race? Yeah. Sorry. 2016. Shame on you. How dare you? How dare How you? Dare you? I don't like bears. They scare me. And they're furry. You can't tell what they're thinking. Uh, I'm not a bear. That's just my well, name. Oh. Well, uh, then we're fine and dandy here, man. All right. No more complaints. My name's Mickey Vaughn. I got teleported here by a flash of light. And I'm trying to get out. I'm there. Yeah, that's been going, going around. On. I have no idea. What kind of what kind of powerful things can you do, bear? Do you punch stuff? I can survive. Oh, we can all survive. Do you cast magic? Do you punch things? What do you do? I'm pretty handy with a bow. Nice. Well, we just shot a turkey. I've shot well, much larger things. We tackled a turkey. It was a pretty big turkey. Come on, you guys, back me up. It was it, impressive. It, it, it was a big turkey. It was. It was a fairly large turkey. Yeah. Thank you, Varial. I'm gonna work on that. You guys, continue. Get if you need me to adjust my mic volumes. Let me know. I can do that on my. Oh, well, sure. you know, if I need you. Well, you guys, together. do we allow this this bear guy to join us? Well, I mean, join technically, us. he he was here before you, so yeah, <laughs> we should be consulting him if you should join us. Oh well, uh, are you gonna allow me to join? I mean, I swear I'm at least as cool as this guy. <laughs> you weren't great at the questions. I mean, but you like can, a, but you can tackle a turkey. So if it's like a one in, one out situation, I'd like to, to, to you know, put up a bit of a fight. I think there's room for everyone, since we really don't know where we are. We we, we have room. So don't worry. There's no there's no fighting. Well, um, I will make an overt um show of looking at both of your hands, something which I haven't done yet so far. Looking for both of your pinkies. Ah. I definitely have both my pinkies. I assumed. I just, you know. What's the significance <laughs> of that? The followers of Jaga or uh, Loviatar, they'll have one or the other. The commoners will have the left hand gone and the highborn one with the right hand gone, or vice versa. <laughs> I like to see Gary doing it, and I was just like. I checked when we were doing the handshake. It's 
Oh, okay. All right. Just, you know. Okay, let me know how sure. the uh, audio levels are now, everybody. It should be better. For some reason, like, I, I think it's Discord that does it keeps turning my mic uh, input down, which is super fucking annoying. I hate that when programs adjust your mic volume because they want to. Right. Like, that doesn't need to happen. Fix your shit. Turn Fix your off the setting that allows uh, programs to take exclusive yeah. control. Come on, you guys, learn to caress your computer yeah, properly. Yeah, that hasn't been enabled in forever. And it's uh, not. Because okay. I've used it with uh, OBS. My computer never gives me any sass. If it does, what up, Nox? Can we get a shout-out so. for Nox, please? No. Do it. Oh, that's not how you do it. God damn it, Scruffles. <laughs> that is not it. Try. Scruffles, go to your room. <laughs> I'm in my room. Go to somebody else's room and then come back. That would be weird. I know. That's why you should do it. <laughs> so, uh, which way haven't we gone yet? Well, the... Oily portal yeah, where there was I, noises. I, I... Are there still noises coming from the? No, I just. Had oh wait, light. no, that was earlier. But when the dude was, wait, no. Okay, never mind. <laughs> you should be hearing noises, but that's just the ambient roll twenty noise. I meant like, yeah. Are there any noises coming from beyond the oil portal thing anymore? I don't know, Scruffles. What might you roll to determine that? Listen. Except this isn't two point five. Perception. Yeah, and I would like correct. to accompany and do the same. Uh... <laughs> you hear no sound coming from the oily blackness. I'm gonna touch it. Okay. Roll a <laughs> yeah, just poke lightly, it. Just lightly, lightly poke it. Okay. I'd probably, like, poke it at the same time as him. Okay. Solid. Solid 27. Okay. Hold on, I have That's a how list. many I am. Because, I mean, you gotta, you know, a poke test is a, an important test. <laughs> Okay. Oh, what was? What? Sorry. What was the effect that I got when I died last time? When you oh, fearing many-legged creatures. Okay, never mind. I did write yes. it down. It should be under your flaws. It is. Okay. Good talk. <laughs> no right. Nice. So, uh, what kind of horrible thing happens to me and then I decided to poke it? Okay. So you poke it, and it immediately begins to form a solid surface. Looks like solid stone warps a little bit more towards the center, and then looks like some words appear over that, until finally you are looking at a solid stone slab with a monkey's face in the center. A monkey's face? And something written in draconic in an easy arc over the face of the monkey. And hey yo, guess who knows how to speak draconic? Space. I do. I think I do as well. I'm pretty sure I chose that. Because Mickey thinks dragons are fucking cool. But I'll double check, just so. Okay, I didn't fill out all my languages, so we're assuming that I don't. 
Yep, if you didn't fill them out, you don't have them. Yep. That's what I was checking. Alright, so Spruce, you know the that it says sweet. the password is banana. <laughs> B-A-N-A-N-A-S? It's bananas. Not so, plural. Hey, monkey man, do you speak? The password speak? is banana, singular. Banana. Banana. A hey, monkey face, do you speak? Bye. The password is banana. Alright, that's banana. good information. Monkey face, are you speak? Do you speak? Its face. eyes pop open. What? What do you want? Well, I don't know what you want. To be left alone, I was sleeping. Oh, what if we have something you might want? I very much doubt that. Look at yous. I can't think of the name of it, though. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's a uh, yellow, oblong-shaped. Uh, what is it again? Um, oh, it's delicious. It uh, makes good breads. Damn, we have so much of those. Monkey man. <laughs> Trying to convince him to say the word. Right. So roll deception. Okay. Because I obviously don't know much about monkeys. And he might find monkey man a, a derogatory uh, term. Who knows? Monkey man? Look who's talking. Your mother was a primate. <laughs> he closes his eyes. Uh, that's not much of an insult. <coughs> Damn you, monkey. Would you all piss off? I'm trying to sleep here. No. I mean, just feel free to speak for yourself, you guys. But uh, I'm not going to leave this thing alone. We need to get through it. And there's obviously a trick... A riddle, some sort of magic at work here. We gotta figure it out to proceed. But why, why don't we just say the password? Banana. Yeah, what about it? <laughs> say it in Draconic. Banana. Well, now you're just talking gibberish. Maybe uh, the password is to give him a banana? Like, it's literally a banana? Uh -huh, I don't know. Just a guess. I mean, I... I, I will uh, let you decide, Thog. I want to kind of disqualify myself from this riddle, because I think I know what it is out of character, but can I make a roll to see if I, I'm on the right path in character? Wait. Because I think... Give it to me one more time so I can think about it some more. Make sure I'm... Thinking correctly. What, what do you want to hear again? The... This, this monkey man's got us stumped. The riddle. Oh, uh, it just says the password is banana. That's it. That's all it says? That's okay. all it says. I don't know if it said anything else. The password is banana. What if we just say, the password is banana? Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Does anyone have a banana? <laughs> I don't know if that would be something anyone would have in here. What? Wait. What? What were you looking for? A banana. Oh. Uh... Anyone have one? Probably not. Yeah. I don't think Fre that would be part of rations. Fresh out of bananas. <laughs> Also, I'm not much for the, pul uh, the puzzle-solving type. 
the password is banana. Hey, you talking to you, Scruffles? Mm-hmm. Yeah, what are you what, staring yeah. at? Uh, no, no, you gonna stand there slack jawed all day? You gonna let all the moths out? <laughs> <laughs> I just like look at Serafina like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like standing there, just scratching my head, like, I, guys, I don't. What, what do we do? <laughs> well, we can always beat it down with a hammer. Oh, I can try and punch it. I can make something taste like banana. Ooh. Is this thing like completely blocking our like path, like going forward? Like, yes. No, speaking of the banana, can we Completely just take a break solid and stone some banana? What kind of monkey is he? Looks like a caricature. Doesn't look like any I... type of actual monkey. Okay. I just like look at the monkey and I'm like, could you just let us buy? We don't have a banana. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. I can make. You got plenty of stupid. Like Press the digitation. Something yeah. to look like a banana? I'm gonna make Dale taste like a banana. No. Make something. Stick my finger in its mouth. <laughs> what the hell's wrong with you? I taste it tastes like a banana. <laughs> yeah. And some shit. You wipe with that hand, <laughs> you dirty clean. beast. <laughs> you should press the digitation something to just look like a banana. I, that's not how it works. Your finger tastes like a bum's ass. You can't take a rock and just like press the digitation to make it look like it's a banana, but not actually be a banana. Obviously, it'd still be a rock. It just looks like a banana. That's another spell. Can can I try saying banana in? Hold on, what are my life? Call uh, celestial infernal and orc. <laughs> He just stares at you blankly. Banana. Hey, you guys, this shit is bananas. <laughs> just straight up. Can I say in your comic to it? Sure. It'd be really funny if you just let me pass through and let these idiots just keep looking like idiots. Yeah, let, let one of us through to spite the others. No, but that was in Draconic. <laughs> so, he says, uh, he'll answer you in Draconic and say, uh, you know... Yeah, now that I think about it, that's a pretty good idea, except for not. Aww. <laughs> oh, I can recognize a sarcastic and negative response in any language. Uh, what did he say, what though? What is it? 1408. Fighting. I think. Actually, I think I, I, I'm pretty sure that's right. No, it's it's past that. Uh, wait, hold on to 1483. You're off by ten. Can I just? I'm, can not, I just I'm not off by him? ten. It is definitely your fourteen, unless we've time traveled forward ten years. It should be fourteen ninety three because this is all concurrent with um, Princes of Evil, or but, yeah, Princes of the Apocalypse. My note, and all that. my notes yeah. say nineteen. My notes say fourteen eighty three. Mine and, also say fourteen eighty three. And and I've brought it up before, and you've given me inspiration for having the correct year. Well, it's fourteen ninety three. I was wrong. Okay, I'm correct. <laughs> Ten years have passed while we've been inside this tower. Yeah, I think you guys asked me and I gave you the wrong answer, but that's my fault. No time has passed. It's, I just want to make sure that I gave you the wrong answer. Rocks. Not cool, man. <laughs> Smoke. <laughs> bad. bad trick. Bad. Does, does anybody have diamonds? <laughs> Uh, Fresh out, I'm afraid. Well, what? I mean, if uh, I'm not speaking for you guys all, but I think this monkey face is a diamond in the rough. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, get it. I am very again. susceptible to flattery. <laughs> well, I meant every word of it. Yeah, I bet you did. Oh, I did. Do you hit on every primate you meet or just me? Oh, every primate. Oh, yeah, everyone. Up, well, up well, that's today, disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> hey, who are you to judge my love? In the year's 1493. We're I'm the guy nation. that's in your way. <laughs> I don't really care. These schmucks are the schmucks are the ones that care. They're gonna 
They're gonna figure it out. I'm just gonna sit here. God damn it, though, I do want in. Can you can you just let us pass? I'll let you guys roll uh, insight checks. What if we show him our dope ass handshake? <laughs> even me, uh, Bob. Yep, even you. Okay. Damn it. I know everything! <laughs> That's, That's, so pretty funny. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. So yeah, ammo. Um, it says the password is banana. Maybe it's not you that has to say the password. Ah. Uh, get, where I'm, get where I'm going with this? And Trip, you follow shortly behind with the same... Same assumption. I see. You can what? What are you staring at me for? Let us in on it. <laughs> giving me the Google eyes. People are gonna think we just broke up. What? What's the password? It says it right on the door. I can't read it. Well, that's your problem, you ignoramus. <laughs> I'm telling you, this party in front of me, you guys are good for two things, no good and good for nothing. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Banana. <laughs> Banana oak and <laughs> door <Yeah>. shatters. <laughs> Orange, you glad I didn't say banana? Ammo, take inspiration. <laughs> well played. That was clever. <laughs> <laughs> I had a small hunch and I went for it. I uh I actually tested that <laughs> riddle on uh the Great Old Ones game. It took them a while to figure it out, but they got it eventually. <laughs> that was good. I liked that. Alright. So you see a long hallway leading forward. Wait, so the monkey guy was his Was he like part of the door? Like what what was he like a separate statue? How'd that work? No, he's just like part of the door. It looked like moving stone. Oh, okay. So we just like exploded his face? Yeah. Oh. And just into like <laughs> little motes of arcane energy. There's no rubble left behind. We're just like looking at it in shock, like we killed the monkey. Well played. I think Emma. he killed himself. Well played. <laughs> well, they're reminiscing about the monkey that just killed. I'm gonna walk through the arch. Okay. I follow Garrett. He's my mm -hmm. he's my shield. Okay. So, uh, if you guys could just give me a <laughs> marching order. You can walk two abreast. <laughs> okay. Huh. So we can stop. You can, you can walk on all the breasts. Uh, let's see. I have to get a new pen. Don't walk on the breasts. But I'm in the front. That's not nice. That's These breasts were made for walking. And that's just what they'll do. Where oh are you at? One of these days, no, these breasts at? are gonna walk all, all over you. All I can picture is someone with, like, really saggy boobs, and they're, like, using them to walk with. Like those creepy yeah, things from Mad Max in the marsh, instead of arms, though, it's just, like, really long breasts. I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna be a little bit stubborn and say, hey, hey, I wanna, I wanna stand next to Dale. Hey, move, move. Can you please? <laughs> you know I like look know back at Mickey and I'm just like, but this is how we always walk. Oh, uh, well, I mean, I've only been a member of the group for a few hours. Uh, I like I... place Mickey just behind me where Serafina is. And kind of just like look at Serafina. I'm just like, it's just, just let him sit. Thank you. Thank you, Serafina. <laughs> I owe you one. <laughs> Does your guys' map keep, like, flashing in and out? No. Are you on uh, Firefox or Chrome? Chrome. Um, do you have Firefox? Yeah. I can 
Yeah, try try, it. try opening it up in Firefox. Chrome okay. has a lot of issues with Roll Twenty. I it happens sometimes. It's not a big deal. I'll just try. I'm just curious. But yeah, uh, I think I want to stand towards the back due to my uh, weapon proficiency. Or as my character would say, I'd rather stand in the back so I can shoot things. That's fine. Here, I'm just going to move your character a bit closer. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. Uh, so Garrett and Dale, you are both human, correct? Uh, what are you using for a light source? My shield. Doing the I shield light the trick? Human. Okay. Yep. All right. So you're walking forward, walking forward, walking forward. It seems like forever. Just keep walking and walking and walking. Um, it's solid stone all around you, so it's just a long tunnel, basically. Um, you don't see any seams. It's not like bricks have been laid. It looks like solid stone and a tunnel's been carved through it. So eventually up ahead, you can see that there's an intersection. So Garrett and Dale, please give me perception checks. Chat's lit as fuck. Fetch as fuck. <laughs> Alright, uh... You see kind of, like, uh, archway in front of you. So there's, like, a column on either side. And then you can kind of see there's an archway in the next room uh, leading into this tunnel. You can see some rubble on the floor. And Garrett, you see something a bit out of place. Um... Amidst the rubble, something kind of stands out to you, but it's almost like a, there's a texture there that doesn't match. You know what I mean? Do you like seeing all these stones and broken bits of masonry and rubble, and then you can kind of see like a smooth, almost chitinous surface sitting amongst the rubble. Sitting amongst the rubble? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Like you don't it for line of sight issues, I can't really tell you more than that because you're in a tunnel, like kind of viewing what's in the next room. Hmm. All right, so I will stop everyone, and then I like how he does the hand signal. I got it. We were that's all right back from the first campaign, first game rather, and then tap Dale, and I'll point it out so that he can see it. I fist bump him as he makes the stopping motion. Thank you. <laughs> it's just like lean over and I'm like, what the fuck is that? Whatever it is doesn't appear to be moving. <laughs> Except for Bork. <laughs> and, or maybe it is moving. Apparently Dingo just called <laughs> bullshit on what I just said, so. Yeah, it's not moving. Bullshit! <laughs> Shit's weak! <laughs> Flavor it up! I'm sorry, Dingo. Dingo, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry about that. Does it have a lot of legs? You are unable to tell from your current perspective. You would have to move forward. Uh, well, Gary would definitely notice that once he says it's a bug, I get, like, visibly afraid. <laughs> Are you, are you gonna be okay? <laughs> you got them nervous meat sweats? Yeah. Right. I'm just like looking at it like, uh, 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 can we For when just you go get around it? Nervous? Uh, um, can we go around it? You said there's a, um, a fork, right? Uh, looks like a four way intersection. And it's directly ahead of us into a room. Mm hmm. Um, it looks like the way forward is blocked, so, like, once you go into this room, you'll have to go either right or left. I start walking right? Around it? Trying to avoid it? Yeah, Stealthily? Uh, Stealth-like? I go the same Hold way. On. In this first, first thing, Scruffles, I need you to make a wisdom save. 
No. You are unable to approach, you are too afraid. At the mere mention that it might have many legs, you're you're way too afraid. I like back up. Like pretty much back up into Mickey and then just like grab him and like put him like in front of me. I'm just like I can't do it, man. I can't do it. Oh, that's fine. That's why okay. I'm here. Uh just do me a favor, swap your tokens. Just so when I do move you guys to the next map, you'll be in the right positions. Thank well, you. What am I looking out for, by the way, Dan? What what spooked you? Uh roll perception with advantage. Okay. And also assuming that because, I mean, you'd, you'd know that they were looking at something up there. I forgot to roll with advantage, sorry. Yeah, just make another single roll then. Okay. Oh, 19. Uh, yeah, it it's definitely looks like some type of large bug. I will help to uh, point it out to him as well. You, like, you can't, you can't see enough of it to determine what it is, but it's definitely got some type of, like, hard shell. How big of a bug? Um, just based okay. off of what you can see, at least large. Okay. Like, categorically large? Right. Okay, um, I say, oh shit, that is a big goddamn bug, oh fuck. Well, it's not a bear. But it Holy doesn't fuck. appear to be moving at all. I will approach it, I will, I will inch forward, I'll be the brave one that kills the, the spider. Okay. If it's just a dung beetle. I'm like see. following behind him, like keeping him between like me and the bugs so I can't see it. <laughs> okay. How tall are you, Mickey? Uh, I'm actually pretty tall. I'm 6'2". Oh, okay. I'm like itty bitty in compared to you then. So you guys are talking. Are you talking in hushed tones or? Yeah. Yeah. We're being quiet. I'm trying to be like super quiet. Okay, yeah, and I'm just so basically all I'm saying is like, don't worry, it'll be okay. Stop worrying, it. it's gonna be fine. Watch where you're going, it'll be okay. I got this. Okay, so make a stealth roll, Mickey. Okay, so you're creeping forward, creeping forward, creeping forward. You're a uh, human as well. Correct. So you're just going off of Buckles' light source. The, yep. Okay. Um, so you round the corner, you see like a very, very large bug, but it's also definitely dead. Um, I'll give you a nature roll, just a straight nature roll to see if you can figure out what it is you're looking at. All right. Oh yeah, you've heard of these before. Um, oh, what are they called? They like to rust things. They make things Rust rusty. Monsters? That's it. That's the one. All right. So oh, you guys, don't worry. It's just a, it's just a, a buster. It's fine. So we call them back in my home, busters, rusty busters, rusty bucket busters, rust monsters, uh, colloquially. But it's dead. Travel in groups. Um... Oh, jeez. Waffle with my sub. What up, buddy? Thank you very much. Let's get some love up in chat for Waffle, please. Heart, 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 because I don't have any heart emotes. Did you get the ones that I have? Because it's a one-time payment. Oh, yeah, I had to cancel, like, all but one or two of my, my subs. Financial responsibility, y'all. And I realized I was subbed to like 15 people, and that's just absurd. <laughs> that's insane. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, and so I whittled it I down. Can, I can only afford a couple subs, unfortunately. And then I got my prime. Then I got my prime sub, so that gets me the emotes that I want, and then like one or two. Subs. Oh, flounder with a resub as well. A resub train. Oh boy! Thank you very much. Let's get some love up in chat for Flounder. Who's been supporting for quite some time now as well. I was unable to see the exact month amount. I don't know if uh, they actually fixed that or not yet. It said four on Flounders. I didn't see Waffles. Awesome. 
All right, so please don't move your tokens yet. Like, well, can get is on screen. From my, uh, from my nature rule, would I know if they travel in groups or not? Um, sometimes, but it's not. It's not like a known behavior. If, if they are did, they, it would be a like a matter of convenience. Are they a very threatening creature? Uh, they rust things, so they can be hell for adventurers who uh, rely on Johnny things guys. like metal weapons the, and tools. The rust monster is known uh, for rusting things. That's very helpful. Thank you. Yeah, just uh, doing my job. Trying to prove that you know, you know I I know I came here after this great looking strong, capable person, but I I think I I, I could be part of the group too. Just give me a chance. Uh huh. Uh, could your chance include looking for other corpses around the? Oh hell uh, yeah. The rust monster. Yeah, okay. no, that's that's always yeah that, that, that's my job pretty frequently. Okay. Corpse checker. Excellent. Here's some light. Oh, well, how does this work? You look where I'm shining the light. Oh. All right, sweet. Give me Appreciate a moment, it. guys. I got to get uh, Ewok in here. So just uh, don't move your tokens yet. We will oh, pause right. to add Ewok. So, yeah, while we do this pause, I, uh, I sat out from that last riddle because I knew what the answer was. It's one of my favorite riddles. Shit. And when I did the uh, the encounter with the other campaigns, I made a platform. It was my monkey face, and this is the platform. Let me fucking download the image real quick. Yeah, they've actually revisited the platform. It's pretty cool. And so when I, as soon as he said the the riddle, I was like, oh, I know what this is. That's fucking awesome. You can't see what you're showing us. Yeah, I know. I'm not. I'm not. I'm uploading it right now. Oh, okay. there we go. I'm gonna just post it in Thoglor's chat. Yeah, that's uh, that's my platform. It was the same exact riddle. Um, yeah, it was it's, yeah, it's a fucking awesome riddle. I think that's just like a piece of cardboard cut into a circle with some wrapping paper taped around it, and then a piece of paper that says the password is fancy. Yeah. I may have to steal that one. It's a good one. So I want to see what kind of fancy passwords my players can come up with. Oh yeah, it really it <laughs> trips them up. If they don't catch on quick, they'll just try everything. <laughs> yeah, they were they, they loved the uh, the puzzle and encounter so much that like they were super stoked for the next time they came back because he said he would promise them another equally as fantastic riddle. And how do you get as good as that? That one's top tier. Um, I won't say what that one is because I might use it on one of you guys in the future. But, uh, yeah. The platform is fucking awesome. It had a similar voice as well. Almost makes you think Thog might be spying on me. <laughs> Seems like a classic it's, riddle. It's, but it's a classic. It. Yeah, I, I, I've used that for a long time. It All right. Good and... Can you hear me, Ewok? Can you? Can yeah, I can hear you. I'm turning on the camera. Hold up. No worries, man. Hey, we got another person. All right. Please work. Please work. Please work. Oh, it didn't work. Why didn't it work? Let's see. Oh yeah, and like Josiah said, I uh, did it up for the Heroes of Endeavor group too. It is a classic for a reason. Okay, so uh, while I'm doing this, do you guys want to catch Ewok up on what he missed? Yeah. All right. So. Uh, it's a dick. Yeah, Danderfluff. We had another person appear out of light. His name is Bear. Uh, I'm not sure if you know him or not, but uh, we met him. And then we touched the, the oil wall, turned into a stone wall with a monkey face. Monkey face had a riddle. The riddle was dope. 
and fun to solve. And then now here we are with the open passageway. The riddle was literally just dope. Well, I don't really want to say it because, you know, um, maybe uh, I'll let someone else spoil it. Because if you haven't heard it before, it would just be tragic for you not to be able to experience it with complete ignorance, you know? I'd be robbing you of that. But it was a good riddle. I saved the entire group from a rust monster attack. <laughs> uh, charging group, a herd of rust monsters. They're called a rustle uh, in groups. Rustums, if you're from the West. Uh, and uh, yeah, so I'm the hero, as always, you know. Typical. As is tradition. I'm all about the, the tradition. So, yeah. Is this dead in front of us? Correct. Okay. It was already yeah, I, dead I found, when you got there. I found one rust monster and it was already dead. So yeah, obviously next to it, um, you see there's a rusted sword lying next to it that's just been discarded. And uh, Joey, make another nature roll with advantage, please. You got it, boss. Additionally, anybody who's proficient in nature can make mm. a nature roll. I think I have that. With advantage? Yep. Okay. Uh, it's it's not a very high DC once you know the creature and its abilities. Uh, the way a rust monster works is it's got these two long antennae uh, that stick out of the front of its head. And uh, those are the things that it actually uses to cause metal to rust. It appears those have been removed. I'm trying to think of a clever pun here, you guys, but I'm coming up short. I'm sorry. What? What could have possibly done that? Uh, I mean, what, would I know if they're worth anything? Like, could you sell them for anything? Can they be used for anything? They could use be used to make things rust. Would it be a reasonable assumption to think maybe someone harvested them to, to just remove that ability from them because they didn't want shit being turned to rust, so they just castrated them? Could be, yeah. That's what I'm going to assume. Say, could yeah, be a lot of these. things. Could yeah. could just have been like a random encounter and whoever killed it just decided to harvest that part of the body. Because yeah, it yeah. would have... It would have a practical use in certain scenarios. Well, uh, it's kind of hard to tell just from one of these things. It could be so many different causes, but uh, should keep an eye out for the others. See if there. Now I need all of you to make chemicals. a perception check, please. All right, Dale. Mhm. Mm what languages do you speak? Uh, common, Celestial, Infernal, and Orc. You speak Orc? Mm-hmm. Excellent. Uh, and you rolled a 20. You definitely hear uh, the sounds of voices speaking Orcish on the other side of like this wooden barricade that's been set up. Looks kind of ramshackle. You can see a couple like slits of light here and there because it's mostly just you know random pieces of wood nailed together um sounds like there's a a group of orcs on the other side already ended up wait which one like here no here north oh north okay okay yeah i like whisper to the rest of the group i'm like there's there's orcs that way oh i fucking love orcs can i tell what they're saying 
Um, they're telling jokes, basically. Um, sounds like, you know, basic bullshit. Yeah, like they're not saying anything of consequence. You know, okay. they're telling tales about how they ate the asshole out of a skunk once, something like that. Gross. Did you say they're orcs? Yeah, orcs. I don't like orcs. Let's bash them. Oh yeah, orcs are great to punch and and hit. And uh. Or. Or nicer things. If, you can try talking to things first. Yeah. Um. Right. Gotta take feelings into account. Aggression. But they're orcs. So as you guys yeah, are they talking. They are orcs, though. It's a good point. I'm torn here. I I don't want to separate. I don't want to split up the group. The voices immediately stop. Clink, clank, clink, clink, clank. Heavy footsteps. Coming hey, from. Is it like the same footsteps as the robot that told us to perform? Nope. It's 1893. No need to be racist. They could be friendly orcs. 1493. But yes. What, whatever. Imagine how progressive we'll be in 1893. We'll probably have carts that have we motorized magic <clears throat> propelling devices on. While they're talking about how progressive it is, I'm going to set up a defensive front, shield up, okay. open floating, ham um, hands. Yeah, I'm going to stretch and do my, you know, calisthenics and stuff. I am going to have you guys roll initiative, so remember uh, to have your token selected before you click initiative, uh, which is on your character sheet. I'm gonna grab my axe and it's clobbering time. Are we, are we gonna talk to him or? Uh, well, well, we'll see what happens. Play it by ear. Struffles, give me another perception check. How did two of you manage to roll? <laughs> The suspense. <laughs> okay, yeah, they're... Without being able to exactly hear what they're saying, you know that they're mustering some type of force to come attack you. You can, right. you can kind of pick up a couple words here and there of, you know, intruders, alert... That, that type of thing. The alarm's been raised. Okay. Yeah, I warn the rest of the group, like, they know we're here, they're coming. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's the time to assemble. I draw my bow. It's time to assemble and Yep, hold on. Move, everybody move your characters back to where they were, please. Okay. So, Bear, you are first. Okay. And... You can uh, position yourself accordingly... Do whatever you want to do. Okay. Let me see. Okay, I'm going to move there. And ready and attack. Okay. All right, just so I know where you are. Okay. Um, Mickey. So we have taken a short rest before. And did we take a short rest before this? Uh, yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. I got my key points. Okay, yeah. So, uh, who do I have any idea? Can I get an idea of how close these things are to us exactly? Do we lose a stream or just me? Oh, checking. I've got it up right next to me. Let's see. Yeah, maybe it's fine. Maybe encoding. All right, never mind. I'm sorry. Yeah, we have quality options. Nice. Yeah, we complete last stream. Okay, carry on. Yeah, I want to know. Yeah, how... can somebody type refresh for the for the viewers in case they uh they got borked as well. Um, but yeah, I would like to try and discern if I'd be able to close the gap between me and and them, or if they have. You don't see where they are. There's no way Just... for you to make that calculation. You're just judging by by hearing uh just yeah. sound, i mean you're in a cavern so it's also echoing like i said there's really not 
There's really not any way you'd be able to determine that. That's fair. I will I will not rush forward then like an idiot, and I will get ready, and I will prepare an attack. Okay. I will, I will move actually right up to here. Assuming that they're coming from that direction. And that will end my turn. Okay. Next, we have Dale. Hi, that's me. Um, what you doing, Dale? I'm going to position myself, like, here. And wait for them to come through the door. Am I going to be able to, like, step over this thing, or am I going to have to roll a wisdom save each time? <laughs> uh, you shouldn't even be that close to it. Oh, okay. So I probably position myself over here as far away from it as possible. <laughs> right, that would make more sense, yes. Okay. And does that complete your turn? Yes. Okay. Serafina? I'm gonna turn the direction the noise and wait for them to show themselves. That's it. Okay. And next we have... So are you readying to do something? Yes. What are you readying to do? Um, suppose I could ready to uh, blast one of them if they come out with... Um... Sacred Flame? Yes. Okay. Thank you. I couldn't think of it for a second. No problem. Oh, and I didn't specify what attack I was I was prepping, but my quarter stack. So okay. This. Yeah, like preparing to attack is a little bit different than casting a spell, like to ready an action. Because when you're readying an action, like for a spell, you kind of have to give me what spell you're bringing to your mind, and also what what event is going to trigger that. Right. Because it's a bit more complicated to cast a spell than it is to swing a hammer. Yeah, my my two generally are speaking, be either hitting or punching. So, yeah. All right, Danderfluff. Before Danderfluff goes, I'd like to just go in for a low five, like, you know, let's get ready to kick some ass if we need to. Can I do that as a free action? Just go for a low sure. five, with Danderfluff. Are you low fiving me? Yeah. Let's rock this joint. Oh yeah. Uh, you said they, the the noise is coming from that area, right? It's coming from further in, yeah. So, up this way. How much time do I have? Do I have time to, like, try and get Dell to throw me on top of the pillar, of the doorway? Uh, there's no way of, there's no way of calculating that. You don't know how long it's going to take for them to muster an attack. Oh, apparently he walks really loud. Uh, yeah, I'm turning down my mic. Sorry. It wasn't loud. I don't know. Sorry. You're not loud to me. It's just, it's dog's fault, okay? Dog's fault. Sorry, eh? Yeah, what, did your sound technician not show up for work today or something, dog? No. Jeez, you should fire him. Ah, fuck. Fucking sorry. I'm just tight from now on. All right, I'm going to just hang here, ready my axe for someone that runs through. Okay. I'm hunkered down, though. I'm ready. It's Bruce. Uh, I'm going to move here. I guess ready, Ray of Frost. You are. I still have faith that they're... Friendly orcs. All orcs are good. Okay. Spruce roll perception with disadvantage. Nice. 
Um, you don't speak orc, do you? No. Oh, no, that, that wouldn't apply here anyway. Uh, make me an arcana check. Uh, you just heard somebody bark the incantation for a spell. Um, and you're pretty sure that it's some type of invisibility spell. I think they just cast an invisibility spell. Oh, shit. Well, keep your ears open. You can still hear invisible people. Uh, Mickey, kick up some dust. All right, you got it, boss. <laughs> and I'm just going to start shuffling my... When it gets to my turn. Uh, Garrett? Uh, hearing that, I'm gonna go plug the gap with Mickey. Held action, I feel, if I feel anything try to brush against me, I'm just gonna go clobber and time on it. Can I... Is Danger Sense something I always use, or do I have to, like, fucking Power yeah. Ranger it on? No, you don't have to turn it on. You always have it. Does that complete your turn, Garrett? Okay. Yeah, held action. You hear a door open. I'm really hoping there's a lot of dust on the ground here. Well, there's lots of rubble, so I think there would be. A boss man told me to kick up dust. I'm going to kick up dust. All right. Garrett and Mickey, make me a perception check, please. Okay. Your rolls have been noted. Garrett, uh, you hear these, you know, sounds of heavily armored, growling orcs coming towards you, coming towards you, coming towards you, and then they stop. Stop as in I can hear it slow down, or and like people drawing more of to like a halt, a, or More of like finish. a military halt. Like they all just, the sound just stops try to get more light from my shield down the hallway like yep you're not able to see anything in your line of sight <clears throat> um hello hey Shh. okay now you try hey uh people in the shadows were way stronger than you is anyone there <laughs> I say exactly what Mickey said, but in Orcish. <laughs> we even got Orc translators on retainer. <laughs> you hear, as a response, ah, ha, 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 what, is, what, is, what does that mean, Dale? Do you need a lozenge? <laughs> what, what did he say? I don't speak Orcish. Uh, he, he laughed. Oh, shit. He I said, LOL. Thought. <laughs> Sam, why are you laughing? Hello, get Rick Noob, and then like a giant fireball comes down. Yeah, I'm, I'm translating what Buckle and Mickey are saying. Okay. And uh, I'm gonna chuck a uh, gold piece into the hallway. Just, you know, down there, see if it hits anything. Wait, wait, wait before you do that, if, if you go to raise your arm, I'm gonna try to grab it quickly. Yeah, I would have to grab it out of my pocket and throw it so right. you'd probably notice. Wait. Yeah, Spruce. that gives you plenty of time to stop him from throwing it. Spruce, yeah. light this thing up. That's a good idea. I'll wait several rounds of six seconds. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, I'll try to get you to do that. If you want to still throw it, I won't stop you. But uh, What do you think I should? I 
don't know. We get some light down the hallway. Yeah, hell yeah. Let's just throw it. I'm going to chuck it down the hallway. I gonna get us didn't down light the it up yet. Well, I don't worry. I have, more, I have another gold toy. Just down here down the hallway. Hey, they're chucking shit at us. Let's get them. It's a, it's a gold piece. If anything, they'll be happy. All right. So, Bear, it is your turn. Are you going to hold position or do you want to move at all? I just, uh, I sort of talk, uh, I say loud enough so they can hear me in front. You guys need help up there? Maybe. We'll We're not sure. Line. They're all invisible. Mm. Mm. I'm going to move my guy up to the front of the line. Somewhere. Just like closer. Like right here. Okay. Mickey. Thank you. Oh boy! I'm and you're you're damage. holding your bow at the ready, ready to attack as soon as you see something yep. to fire at. Okay. Ready to attack. Yeah, and I'm gonna just throw a. Well, unless I see a small rock at my feet, save myself. There's a gold plenty coin. of small rocks. There's rubble everywhere okay. in this room. Then I'll go for a small rock as opposed to a gold coin. I'm I'm a Scrooge. Okay. Uh, so yeah, just kind of reach down and throw that down, and see if it hits anything. Pay attention to. Wherever it hits. Goes flying forward, comes rolling to a stop next to the wooden barricade. Doesn't hit anything else. How about you? Uh, uh, I'm, I'm going to just kind of look over to the rest of the group and say, uh, how about we strategically move forward as a group? Let's move forward. They're laughing at us. We don't know what lies ahead of us. It could seems, be trapped. We could hold this like trap. Uh, can anyone check for traps? You've got six seconds, so this is kind of a long conversation yeah, to be having. That's the end of my yeah. uh, Dale? Uh, just holding. Okay. Serafina, same. Holding. Dandruff. Hold. Getting a little antsy, but yeah, holding. All right. Spruce? I uh, pick up a rock, cast light on it, and toss it at Mickey. Uh, both of you make a dex check. At me or to me? <laughs> well, like, underhand oh, toss right. for you to catch. Okay. okay. Uh, he throws it kind of like <laughs> off to the side, but you manage to catch it, Mickey. Well, I got quick hands. That's a nice. Thank you. And Badass. do anything else, Spruce? I'll call that your interaction with the environment. Uh, that's, that's it. I'm going to hold here. Okay. And Garrett? Same. Okay. <clears throat> I have some things to do. And I'm, I'm kind of, I got a wide stance too, and I assume Garrett does as well to block off as much of this, you know, entryway as, as we can. Yeah, I'm man spreading a bit. It's probably an yeah. issue. Defensive man spreading. Yeah. People on buses who man spread, I just want to like punch them. Okay. In the, in the, so, in face. Why wouldn't... Serafina, the Spruce, and Bear were all ready to make ranged attacks. Would you like to do so as you see these orcs move into your field of view? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Are they moving okay. aggressively? We're gonna go. We're gonna go through the list according to what your initiative was. So, Bear, you can go first. Uh, just okay. ping which target you're shooting at. You got it. Or you can just, yeah, you can tell me left or right if that's easier. Uh, right side. Gotcha. Okay, and if I do this wrong, I'm sorry. I sh think it's this. Uh, yep. Uh, let me see. 15. That should be a hit. Yep, that is a hit. Okay. So click where it says longbow in the chat box, like under the 15. Yep, you got it. 11, nice damage. There you go. Swip. And so, reload. Well, that'll be that'll be part of your next initiative, but we'll, oh, sure. we'll get to yeah. that. This is you just taking yeah. your, your prepared attack. Okay. Uh, so let's see. Serafina was next. You can um, probably only get the one. Well, you'd be able to get either one of them. 
that one. Because the one would have run in front of the other, so. Dex check. Which. 13. Hang on. Yeah, spell this. Spell save is 13. He oh! Critically oh, oh. fails. Oh, it's just a. So he's thing. dead. We're just going to say he's eight. dead. You don't need to roll damage, he's dead. Well, now we're the yeah. bad guy. Shit. Right? And next we have Spruce. Uh, can't see anyone. Um, you would have been able to see somebody, so just make your spell attack, uh, but disadvantage if you still want to take it. Uh, I'll hold. Okay. Maybe we scared them by LOL wrecking their new one moves into view. <laughs> and they're gonna both aggressive up to here. Please hold to make your attacks because I have to position things. Kind of glance over at Spruce and then glance over at. Will be able to aggressive up. Conflicted. Will be able to aggressive up. Sorry, Spruce. Shit happened. But then I looked at Daniel Fluff's like, yeah, let's get gas. So I am going to make. Or rather, um, Garrett and Mickey, you guys can make your attacks. Okay. Go ahead, All Joey. Right. Do yours first. <laughs> Okie dokie. I'm going to just two-handed quarterstaff attack. That is a miss. Uh, he that gets is... advantage. Hey. Hey, hey. That is a hit. All right. All right. Is with one right in front of you? Uh, yeah, the one right in front of me. Is that advantage just on that first attack or advantage on all my attacks? Well, because we're yeah, threatening the same. Then, the the um, way I'm going to do that is you guys have to both be targeting the same target if you want to flank it. Okay. See what I'm saying? Because um, otherwise, like, you're always going to have advantage. I'm going to always have advantage. It kind of balances uh, out, but... Well, sure, like we're both, decide. like, ducking and fighting as we're fighting yeah, but uh, I would just follow it up with, you know, expend a key point, two unarmed strikes. Okay. Um, so advantage on both those? Yes. Okay. Hit. Hit. Your damage has been noted. Oh, yeah. And uh, I'm going to have it make a dexterity saving throw. I assume that's a pass. That that is indeed a pass, yes. Okay. My turn. Wait, don't I get my attack? Oh, yeah, sorry, go ahead, Garrett. Alright, same one that he was attacking then. With my advantage roll. Oh Jesus Christ. That is a miss. Okay, of course it is. Of course. You may carry on. <clears throat> All right, the two guys in the front are both going to attack Mickey. Oh, yeah. Okay, so the first one hits a 21. <coughs> yeah, 21 hits. And second one hits more than that. So they both hit. Yep. First hit is for 14. Second hit is for 14. Oof. Ooh, dang, that is all of my HP. <laughs> cha cha. Knocked out one. Couple two, great knocked. axe attacks. Took you down. Took you down hard. Hey, I still got some good licks in. That's true. You did put some damage out. Yeah, but I'm I'm outy. Uh, the rest are too far back to do anything yet. Um, the four. The four in the back, the four orcs in the back, are uh, going to all pull out javelins. 
Uh, sure, why not? They'll make some javelin attacks. We're gonna do one on bear, one on dale. One on spruce. And one on garret. All right. So we'll do bear first. Does an 18 hit? Um, yes. Dale is next. 23 hits, I'm sure. I don't want to be next. Yes. Next is spruce. Does a 16 hit? Yep. And Garrett. Oh no! Huh? Regular miss. Okay. So. First damage is going to be to you, Bear, for seven. Okay. Marking. Next is going to be Dale, for six. And Spruce, four. Because you have roll hacks. And everybody knows it. Oh, you like that fail boat? Yeah, I, I like to have useful things on my Amazon list. I mean, if I'm going to promote something, it's something that I would buy. I'd buy a life straw for sure. A life straw. You're good to have. You ever drink out of one? They're not bad. That's the thing with the filter, the charcoal filter, right? So you can drink yep. right out of streams. Yeah. I've never drank, like, directly out of a stream, but, like, I've gathered water and used a life straw. I mean, I've, I've definitely it's not used bad. those before. They are... They do their job. Yeah, I mean, I didn't get sick, so it, it must work. All right. And that was the four Good javelins. And now I've got... Couple hab gablins in the back. They're gonna both shoot at Garrett. Because they don't like your big, dumb, shiny shield. So they're gonna bring it. Are you, are you ready for it to be brought in? Oh, it's already been brought in. <laughs> With a six? <laughs> Does a six great. hit? Probably not, huh? What about an eight? So these guys are the two main ones meleeing in front of me? <clears throat> no, those were these guys in the back. Goblins. Okay. Hobgoblins are the red guys. Uh, orcs gotcha. are... <clears throat> I, I tried to differentiate between the two as much as possible. Okay. I don't even try to block those. They're just terrible shots. Wow. Wow. I mean, they're sub 10. What am I going to do? <clears throat> this is, I've rolled at least one in the session, so I know that I'm doomed. Okay. And... And he's going to hold it. Okay. He being the caster, I assume. Out of character? That's a fair assumption. All right. In character. So, Bear, you are up. Could I tell? Can I tell which have the javelins and which don't? Uh, they all have. The two in the front have great axes. The four behind them are all wielding javelins. Okay. I'm going to take aim at the one directly in front of me on the right and in the second row. And fire away. Okay. Let's 
Oh wait, that's the wrong. Oh, I'm sorry, I hit click the wrong. If it's thing. the same bonus, you can take it, the the hit. Um, if they're both plus six, it's actually it's actually worse. So that the the short sword is worse than the longbow. We'll say but you it's hit. Different. So it's it's, di it's different damage. Though. So make the longbow roll and then just roll your damage, whether it hits okay. or not. We'll we'll say that you hit. You hit on the die. Okay. Six piercing, and that was to this gentleman here? Uh, yes. Okay. Your damage has been noted. Anything else? Um, no, I'm just like... I'm, I'm wondering, like, how many of these things are there? <laughs> a lot. Well, uh, I mean, you can see a lot, so... It's I only got really so tough. many arrows. Dale! Uh, it's me. Mickey went down herd. Bring him to no. Swiss Chalet. Um, Get him a two-piece and a biscuit from Swiss Chalet. What? You don't have Swiss I, Chalet around wait, you? Isn't that a Canadian thing? Did I have to make my death save? I think that's next round, right? Oh, no, he, he's correct. Yes, Mickey, please make your death save. My bad. Okay. Oh, and also, um, Bear, you would have saw that I do have a quiver with arrows on my, my back. And a short bow. Okay. Yeah, one success. Uh, so there's an invisible dude somewhere? Uh, you don't know that for sure, but Trip said that he heard somebody casting an invisibility spell. Okay. Can I roll anything to, like, I don't know, try and see a shimmer, hear footfalls, perception? Sure. You don't say anything. Okay. Uh, I don't know whether to drag Mickey out of there. Yeah, I'm gonna drag Mickey out of there. I run up, I, like, grab him, like, under the arms, and, like, drag him backwards towards here. Okay, that's fine. You don't have to roll anything for that. Okay. And I, like, call to Serafina, like, yeah. Unless I can try to stabilize him while I'm here. So, Mickey, move your uh, character back in front of Dale, please. Oh, yeah, my bad. Are they taking any kind of tax for him being dragged away? No. Okay. Can I stabilize him here or no? You can certainly try. Okay. That'd be a medicine roll. He's stable. And does that complete your turn? Uh, yes, because I don't okay. think I can attack him. Serafina, you are next. Okay, I'm gonna... I should probably heal Mickey, huh? Can I stand in this square? What square? This one. You get. Where'd I put my pants? Oh, I get healing. Uh, one second. You can have a level two cure wounds. You're gonna have to move over one more. I'm not. You're not adjacent to Mickey. No. Oh, okay. You're next to Bear. I'll go in. Oh, sorry. Wrong square. I was looking at the wrong person. There we go. Okay. Now you will get... Okay. Here we go. Not bad. Not bad. Hey, I will gladly take that. Cool doggies. Let's see. I'll bump that back up. So, so is Dale still holding me? And like, after dragging me away, and you came up and, and healed me? Yeah, I like dragged you back, and then like put you down and uh, stabilized you. Oh, so mm -hmm. I just look up and I see it. It's just, oh, I'm just, you see a big smile on my face, and then <laughs> about it, and then I get right back up on my feet. Well, ready to punch on your me. initiative, you will. Yeah, on my turn. Yeah. He's right. pumped to do so. Dander Fluff, you are next. 
Is the door open right here? No. That's all completely blocked with rubble. Oh. Oh, well, shit. I'm going to notice that Mickey went down. He's back up, but I'm going to... I'm going to rage. Then I'm going to rush in here. Oh, good. Because I would have been encouraging you to do that. <clears throat> Swing right there. Okay. And miss. No, 13's mm. a hit. Oh, shit. Uh, 16. Dead. Got him. God damn, nice. Sorry, Spruce. <clears throat> And Spruce, slightly armored. It is your turn. Oh, a magic missile level two of the motherfucker that threw a javelin at me. Okay. That'd be the guy in the back right. What? A jerk. Dead. Arc spell. Eat shit. Eat shit. And does that complete your turn? Um, go over here and hide behind Dale. <laughs> okay, Garrett, your turn. Got All him, right. Gertie. I'm gonna crunch down on the one in front of me. Thank you, Asyn. Asyn Asynchrony Studios. Asynchrony. 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 I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> I'm so dumb. <laughs> I never learned to read. Uh, so it's the six, correct? No, it's the five because you're wielding two-handed. Because it'd be the five. That should be two higher. Why I'll double be check. Two higher. Uh, I'll double check that. It's supposed to be taking two times strength, right? No. Or full strength. No, if you're wielding two handed, it's a different damage die. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 3.5 again. So, yep, alright, take the five. And then, um, as a bonus action, I will drop Sanctuary on Dandruff. Which, which does will, what? They have to pass a will save in order to actually continue attacking her. Um, if they fail, they have to find a new target. If there's no target in range, um, they um, it fails. And that's also, it counts for spells as well, but not for area effect spells. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, I see you do that. I just look up at you. Oh. Aww. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, this group really is beautiful. <laughs> the synergy you are feeling right now is just indescribable. And does that complete your turn? It does, sorry. Okay. Shift him forward, pulling great axe. Let's do those great axe attacks first. So basically, I have to pass a wisdom save, or I can't attack him or her, rather. Yes. <clears throat> Essentially, if it fails the wisdom save, DC of ten is pretty low. They will have to attack me instead. Okay. <clears throat> so let me check those first. Uh, I'll do them in order, so the left eye will be the, the guy on the left. Okay, so he passed, he failed. So yeah, one attack, er, actually no, they're both going to attack you, Garrett. Okay. Because that would make more sense. Sure. Alright, so first attack... Uh, hits a 24. Yep. <clears throat> Second attack hits a 22. Yep. <clears throat> okay. First one hits for 9. Mm -hmm. Second one <clears throat> hits for 8. All right. Now we're going to make two javelin attacks at Serafina, because why not? Or 
Where's the fucking roll? There we go. Miss. 16. That's a hit. Is that necessary? For 8 damage. <laughs> what? Uh, what was that word? Is that a Serafina noise you're making? Yes. Okay. Just check. It's a mew of don't hurt me. <laughs> you hear some crackling sounds in there? We call it a Seraphiddle. <laughs> so, Serafina, uh -huh. you took eight damage. Okay. Ow! Ow for my longbowsman. That horse. That horse. Stop it. Is that only for melee attacks, Sanctuary? No, range. Oh! What up? Failboat! Thank you very much for that subscription. We got a new sub, everybody. Let's get some love up in chat. Yay! Thank you for making my stream yodel, sir. Thanks for eating fresh. <laughs> yes, that as well. And thank you for the follow, Bad Kitty. Bad Even Bad Kitty's a good kitty. <laughs> bad kitties from my stream. I love the she cool. gif that you use for your. Uh, I'll do the same one left as left, right as right. Alright, only one of them passed, so it's gonna be one attack on each. So, Garrett. Mm -hmm. Miss. Mm -hmm. And Danderfluff, what is your AC? Uh, 16. Thanks. So, 21 is a hit. Oh, I was wrong. I should probably roll the right damage, eh? Well, but I haven't hit with one of these guys yet, so that's why I was confused. <laughs> so you're going to take 8 damage, Danderfluff, so it's not psychic damage, so half of that. So you take 4. Because you raging. Because you raging and shit. <clears throat> All... Right. There. It is your turn. Okay. Um, how far can I move and attack? Is it 15? 10? 30. 30. As long as you okay. have line of sight. Yeah. Um, let's see. No, I'm just going to stand where I am. Hold my ground. Aim at the same one. Aimed at before. And fire. That would actually be the guy right in front of Danderfluff because they shifted oh, forward. It? Oh, they did shift forward? Okay. Yeah. So it is. Uh, why isn't it? There it goes. Correct. 18, 18. is a hit. Five damage heard. Next, we got Mickey. You are now awake, sir. Oh, yes. Yeah. So, does it look like if I wanted to whip them up without my bow that I'd have a clear line of sight, or there are too many heads in the way? Eh, you've got enough room. Okay. Then I'm gonna go ahead and just lean back for a bit in the short bow. Okay. 20 is a hit. Which one are you aiming at? Uh, this one <laughs> right there. Okay. Your damage has been noted. Alright. So, Dale. And, uh, I'm gonna keep my key points. Okay. Yeah, I don't think you can use many of those with uh, ranged attacks anyway. Um, there's some, you know, shit that wouldn't be useful, but I want to save them. Uh, Doyle. Would I, would I be able to move into Danderfluff Square? No. Fuck. Well, I can't do shit. <laughs> You can move up next to Danderfluff and attack, but you'll be doing so at a normal roll. Okay. Because cover is going to knock out the advantage you would gain from flanking. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Should I use a key to key or not to key? Um, we're just going to smack it. <laughs> I agree with Sea Turtle about soda. I don't want to like soda, but I do. Ten is a miss. I think that's how trip goes. Okay. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> and 
Scrap faults. What? And And I move back. You're not gonna you're not gonna go for a I, second. I didn't hit. use my key. You don't have to oh, use your oh, key for yeah. a second hit. I totally forgot. Remember? Remember? Yeah, so you missed remember? anyway. But remember that. Remember for next time. Remember. Serpapina. Serpapina. Serpico. Um, so which one of those? It's a good movie. Which? La, 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 la. Can't even English. Which? You're on the right stream. These... <laughs> <laughs> which one of these assholes uh, threw a javelin at me? That would be the one in the back left. This one? Yep. I'm gonna repay him the favor with a blast of some radiant stuff hmm. right to the face hole. And he ha. failed, probably. Fail, yeah. Unless your DC is abysmal, which it shouldn't be. It's 13. Or at least that's what my spell save is, I figure. Six! Six damage noted. Danderfluff. Fluff and McDanders. I'm gonna fucking swing at him. You have well, advantage. I have advantage. Let's do it. That's a hit. Dead. Nine damage. <clears throat> Just give out a little snicker after I die. <laughs> Spruce. I'm a ray of frost, the one Serafina was hitting. Back left. Make your roll. That's a hit. Three cold herd. And Garrett? I'd like to smash on the dude in front of me. Oh boy, oh boy. <clears throat> Oh boy, oh boy. Dead. Okay. Alright. And then we still have those hobgoblins to deal with, huh? Uh, bonus two action. And two hobgoblins is what you can see. And then the hidden caster, which we may or may not know is there. Um, I'd like to cast Shield of Faith on myself. Plus okay. Two do, you guys, do you guys in chat think it's time? Is it time? <clears throat> is it time now for me to bring the caster out? Mm -mm. Yeah. It's gonna be a mind flare. Oh, <laughs> I think it's time. It's or an abolith. It's really, 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 it's really, excited about really it. good time. It's gonna be Mickey. a Gul'dan. Mickey begins attacking the group. Gul'dan's a punk ass bitch. <laughs> oh you boy. <laughs> You what? Do you guys? Are you guys ready for this? Mm -hmm. I don't think you are. Yeah, I need you there. all to make a dexterity saving throw. Ewok, your danger sense does not apply because you cannot see the spell being cast. Even me, way off in the back. Oh, no. Everybody oh. in the room. But I do have gnome com gnome no cunning, which is what? advantage on int whiz. Charisma saves against magic. This is not this either is of the. It's not any of those saves. You have to okay. do dexterity. Okay. That's about what I Wait. expected. Um. Danderfluff, you passed. Mickey, you passed. Ammo, you passed. And Scruffles, you passed. Everybody else failed. I assume five won't cut it, huh? No. Because I can add my shield bonus to my AC. <laughs> to my uh, DC. Let me see. Fuck it, I'll roll it manually. It's a fireball. I'm feeling a fireball. It is indeed fireball. So if you failed, you take 34 <clears throat> points of fire damage. Fucking kidding me? If you pass, you take of, like, 17. Uh, 
like lesser amount since I'm made out of fire. Basically. Are you resistant to fire damage? That's something that you have to know. know for your character. I feel like I should be. I don't I'm know. You'll have to look on your character sheet and see. Literally a fiery personality. Uh... Oh, I do have fire resistance. Ha! Eat a wiener. So, have it written on my sheet. So you would take... Eight it then. just says fire resistance. You would take means... eight damage. Okay. Because it's half of 34 and then half again of that. Because resistance okay. means you take half of the damage from those sources. Make sense? Okay. Don't you just love when the players can half the half damage and then it just turns out to be like nothing? Um, but I'm unconscious. Yes. Yeah. I'm very close to dead. A bright like dead, streak dead. flashed and forth four. from a pointing finger around the corner to the back end of the room and detonated, blossoming into a low roar with an explosion of flame, basically filling the entire room with fire. And you hear, ah! You told you it was cool to you. Damage reduction. All right. So, yeah, Garrett, are you eight. down? Oh, yeah, I'm down. Okay. <clears throat> oh, yeah, you walk. Don't forget about your raging half damage. That type of... Yeah, I already got that. I already put that in. Cool, cool. Okay. Don't worry. There's more. <laughs> but wait, there's more. So yes, if you if you pass the save, you took half damage. If you failed the save, you take all thirty-four. I'm at negative twenty-three. <laughs> well, you're at zero. Yeah, it's <clears> just that. Well, oh, go to zero. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. let's go to zero. Yeah, okay. there's no negative anymore. What's oh, your hit point maximum? A Eighteen. We're gonna need a I DI would... for Sherbs, because you are killed outright. If you if in a single blow you go to the negative version of whatever your hit point maximum is, you're killed outright. You don't get to make death saves. Yeah, that's the you're only just time is worth obliterated. The negatives. But yeah, I was right not. Sure. We we Not have sure. plenty. <laughs> we have plenty of great old ones in chat who have di tokens and plenty of experience. Right. So I'm sure some Ariel's rolling. He hasn't experience. used his yet for four levels, has he? Oh no, probably not. Death isn't real. Me, however, <laughs> likely needs someone's DI. But people have been <laughs> since it's a much it's much more difficult for me to kill you guys in fifth edition, and people have plenty of experience. So I think I might forgo the whole DI at every four levels and just let chat handle it. Because otherwise, it's like they like between the tokens that my great old ones get, and the amount of experience in chat, you guys will be fine without them. So just forget the DIs every four levels thing. We'll just let I'm chat keep it. you alive. Let's see how much I've accumulated. Bariel has used her token. Okay, so Sherbs, oh, I need oh, you to roll okay. a D4. D4. Or whatever, oh. Am I the only one left up? <laughs> okay, so no, you're I'm gonna a, be I'm out for three four. rounds. Oh god. Basically <laughs> while your, your deity puts your body back together. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna take you three rounds which really in 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 terms of like if each round is six seconds that's really not a whole lot of time so deities work fast like a bubble jet printer <laughs> like you're getting 3d Pretty printed knowledge. right now um so you will come back and when you do come back you'll be at full hit points uh fully rested all of your class abilities stuff like your class resources will be recharged as though you had just taken a long rest. I'm just picturing something from Westworld right now. Simply mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I was about to say, please wait while the Westworld theme happens. Okay, so let me finish my attacks. I got two on Danderfluff. First is going to hit a 21. Second is going to hit more than that. No, I have to listen to that theme. First one hits for six, so three, and for five. 
those are that the totals I'm having them for you. And Ammo? said I'm weird because I find that mu intro music pretty. Oh, it's fantastic. I'm gonna take two it shots is, at ammo. More... I'm just gonna roll them at the same time. Meant to be like kind of eerie sounding. Uh, what's your AC? It's more than twelve, right? Ammo. Yeah. Okay, then you're good. Arrows go whizzing Thank past. You. And bear, you're out. So you're out for two more rounds after this one. Just keep track of that, um, or help me keep track of it. Uh, Mickey, are you making death saves? Yes, I am. Do I start off with a clean slate? Uh, even though I was knocked out earlier, or do I start with one? I forget how you you like. start over. You start over okay. each time you go down. Yeah. All right, that is one failure. Dale. Looking nice kind of smoky there, Dale. I take a potion of healing. Oh! Uh, it's 2d4 plus 2, so you get 10 hit points oh, 10. back. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, make sure you have, you, you have that noted, right? Regular healing potion is 2d4 plus 2. Greater heal is 4d4 plus 4. And oh, superior, I think, it, okay. I think, is... It's written next to it. It's just too long. Yeah. Doing anything else? <sighs> no, that's it. Okay. Next, we've got Serafina. Hi. I'm going to cast Sanctuary on myself. So, same, same spell, same effect. It makes them have to do anything roll. else and uh uh no i think that's gonna be it okay dandruff getting a little banged up but i'm gonna keep swinging okay a normal roll right because buckle is down correct yeah. 16. 16 is a hit Dead. For 19. Damn, you hit like a brick shit house. Dang. <laughs> Dandruff, smash! I'm it's glad Bruce. I'm not conscious to see this. It'd be a big blow to my pride. You know, I make that death save, impressed. you man, you. You big fat man, you. Who? Who? Spruce? Trip? Okay. Oh. I was about to say that. <laughs> I was like, who is he calling big and fat? You big fat man, you. <laughs> You're not fat. Tubby Trip. There he is. Hey. Good thing he's got all that winter weight. I always have winter weight. <laughs> <laughs> I just keep adding on to my winter weight. Given your age. You never know. You might need it. I'm in the autumn of my years. Uh, just like that Frank, I, <laughs> Frank Sinatra song. I have sent yeah, sit have, in the dark and drink cognac. I don't have winter weight. I have hibernation weight. <laughs> <laughs> Prepared for the apocalypse weight. I've got a thin membrane that doesn't uh, <laughs> insulate very much at all. So. <laughs> all right. And next we've got Garrett. Fails a death save. Oh noes. Oh noes. Come on, you guys. Get All it right. together. I've already got a new character planned out. Is there <laughs> anybody who's still up who speaks Orcish? Me. Scruffles? Me. Uh, make a perception check. You hear a, a loud voice bark out in horror. Uh, says something about killing the cleric. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Good thing I like I yell to Seraphina like Seraphina. Good thing I just used sanctuary. I don't know. Me warning her is to give her any bonuses. He fails. So he's gonna attack Danderfluff. Sorry. 
And probably miss with an 11. Gander poop. Yeah, that's a miss. Okay, and now for the two bowmen in the back. They're both going to try and attack Serafina. Let's see if they pass their saves. One does. The other one will attack Danderfluff. So first one on Serafina. Oh no. <laughs> uh, hits ally. Yes. <laughs> I will survive. Not enough to kill him though. And the other one at Danderfluff is a miss. But we not done yet, boys and girls. We not done yet, boys and girls. Bring out the no, that was the only spell. He has no more. No, oh, there's much more. Oh, that's pure dirt. That's pure <laughs> filth. You know what? I'm gonna do it because he's an asshole. Let me check the range on this. Oh yeah, he's got plenty of range. Oh yeah! Oh! Oh yeah! Let me leave that open and... Okay. So, let me read this one. Who has the current lowest hit points that's actually conscious? I have I'm 14. at 21. I have 15. So it would be Scruffles? Would be okay. the lowest? Yeah. Okay, Scruffles, you are asleep. Not oh, for fuck's sakes. You fall into a deep slumber. I don't Wait. suppose making loud noise would wake her. Mm. I don't know. Damn! What Quick, the... kiss him. Night, sea turtle. Only true Everybody love's first say kiss. Bye, turtle. Can we go? You've been watching Hi, too much once upon a time. Mm -hmm. It's good for regular TV. <laughs> Okay. It's not cable. It's regular TV. There. This is your second round out. You got one more after this. Mickey, make your death save. Oh, no. That is a fail. Dale is asleep. Serafina. I'm Roll perception. Move. Oh, oh, okay. I move back. For the moment, until I roll perception, then I'm gonna. Well, move. yeah, roll, roll the perception first, and then you, that might change where you move to. Uh, yeah, you definitely notice that Dale has fallen asleep. Okay. I'm gonna Actually, move. Actually, really, really loud. To here. And. I'm gonna. Cast. Cure Wounds. Level 1. On Mickey. Okay. Let's see how it is. This time I'm only worth a level one. You know? So you're at four hit points. Nice! I look up again. Lost for words, but you can tell I'm thankful. <laughs> Danderfluff. Alright, I'm gonna do some bouncing right now. I'm gonna walk over this body and just be like, <laughs> sorry! And then swing at this one. Okay. Fifteen. Fifteen's a hit. For nine. Dead. Bash his brains in. Next we've got Spruce. Make a death save. That's a pass. Garrett, make a death save. That's a pass. Yay! Alright. I'm gonna try <laughs> and shoot the cleric. To make the save. Wow. 
What's the DC? Uh, is it the, if it's the same as your regular spell save? It's thirteen. Thirteen. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think that's a pass on the first one, but I have to check. No, it's not. So one of them passed. So that guy's definitely gonna shoot you. And the other one is gonna hold an action. Does a 20 hit. Oh, I see a puppy. Oh, hi, yeah. Blue. Puppy got on camera, so I figured I'd put oh. that in my... Oh, for two yes. damage. But you still have yes. to make a constitution save. To maintain that... your spell. If you okay. have Warcaster feet, you have advantage. I do have Warcaster feet. So roll constitution save with advantage. Just looking for a 10, right? Not a 2. Oh, Correct. no! Your sanctuary has failed. Wait, sanctuary is not a concentration spell. It lasts for a minute. Oh, it's not? It's not. <clears throat> oh, I could have sworn it was a concentration. That's my bad. Let me check. I use it often with Shield of Faith, which is a concentration spell. But Sanctuary is just duration, a minute, one bonus action to cast. Not Thank you, Epic right. Interactions. I, I've been doing this minute. for a while, so it's been like a long upgrade process. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, my first overlay was trash. It was horrible. I did it myself, and I have no talent for that. So, luckily, so I had some good stay. people that were able to make me some awesome overlays. So, uh, no, you're playing a light cleric, correct, Ammo? Cleric of light. Cleric of light. 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 All right, so they both fucking suck. Dale got put to sleep, but that was last round, so we're back to Mr. Caster again. Hey, Mr. Caster, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? He's going to try and make his saving throw to attack ammo. Oh, I have this set up wrong. Either way, he passed. So he is definitely going to attack ammo. With a magic missile! For 11 force damage. Pew pew Ooh. pew! I'm at two! I will try. Actually, I'll move him will. over one. So, yeah, he'd definitely have line of sight from that. Okay, back to the top. Bear, it is your last round out. Mickey, you are now awake with four hit points. So, surveying the battlefield, what has changed in the six seconds? Oh, God. Lots. Who's the closest target I see to attack? Uh, it'd probably be the caster. Oh, God. But that, can I actually see the caster? Sure. Okay. From where I'm standing? Yeah. Okay, then I'm just going to fire an arrow down there. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna get close. Okay. Make your attack roll. I'm gonna use a lucky die. Okay. <laughs> 14 is a miss. All right. Uh, let me just look one thing real quick. Yep. That's gonna be the end of my turn. Okay. I am gonna just yeah, that can stay there. All right, Dale, you are asleep. Seraphina. Yes, I am. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I'm going to heal myself with a level two, uh, cure wounds. Here we go. What you doing? Uh. You're woundsing yourself? Maybe. 
sort of. Oh. Ammo like hates being the party. Like, giant gaping wound. I'm just like everything's on fire. This is fine. Put that on there. It's fine. This is fine. This is, this is fine. Literally everything's on fire because of fireball. There's a lot of smoldering fine. corpses yeah, around you. I'm very this proficient in med medicinal things. I'll be fine. I'm, I'm just picturing I have like a giant gaping wound or something and I take like a little band-aid like this big. <laughs> this is like duct tape. Duct tape to close up that gaping wound in your bicep like fucking Mick Foley. Oh, it, God. It's fine. It's like, fine. Cactus sack. <laughs> Oh, Cactus Jack. Thank you very much for those follows, guys. I really appreciate that. Welcome to the stream. Good to have yous. Uh, we recently just started move, uh, doing this show on Sundays, so it'll be on Sundays from here on out. We used to be doing it on Thursdays. Oh, wow, I'm getting a follow train. What's up, people? What's up, everybody? Dude love. Hell yeah. The, the many faces of Mick Foley. Dale, when are you going to learn the mandible claw? What? What? Never mind. Moving on. Danderfluff. Can I move Garrett's body? Like, move him here, and I'll move back here. Sure. All right. I'm just going to drag him... He's got to move his token. And do anything else besides that? I was going to dig through his bags to find a potion. Uh, make an investigation roll. You're a gnome, so I'll give you advantage. Yeah, you know, you got tiny little hands. You can flit around pretty quick. Uh, yeah, if, if you have a potion of healing on you, Buckle, he's able to find it. I do. All right, I'm going to grab it and... Just open his mouth and pour it in. Okay. Buckle, make a constitution saving throw. Oh no, I'm gonna choke. I'm gonna choke and die. Choke, uh, look. Choke, uh, look. Nope. You, uh, relax the jaw, open the throat, just like a good boy. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. And get you the get the full effect. You get the full effect of a healing potion. The full effect? Well, the. You're not taking a minus on that, is what I'm saying. It's 2d4 uh, plus 2. I'm, you're yeah. not getting max. Yeah, so that's 2. Okay. <coughs> and does that complete your turn? Yeah, that's my turn. Okay, your rage has ended. Yep. Huh? Whew. It's Bruce. What? Time to save some versus some death. That is a fail. Where's What are the standings? Should people be concerned? I have two saves, one fail. I don't believe you. I'm just kidding. Garrett. You are up with six hit points. Mm-hmm. Who else is down besides Spruce? Uh, well, Bear's just been obliterated, so you don't even see him anymore. Right. Um, and, and Spruce Mickey's is currently the only like one who's pointed. dead, and you see Dale sleeping. And I'm asleep. Just kind of standing there, mouth open, drooling on himself. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to charge over. I'm going to drop my shield on Scruffles, protecting her. <clears throat> what do you mean uh, you're dropping your shield? I'm just put, I'm putting my shield over her, so if anything else fires well, she's in, she's standing, she so... Oh, I would have just fallen down if I was sleeping. Nope, you're you're standing up. It she doesn't say that, that it makes you prone, just that you're asleep. Huh. That's weird. That's I've never interpreted sleep that way. Okay, that's like, just push weird. Push me over. <laughs> um, in that case, I won't put my shield on top of her. And actually, Seraphina probably has it, huh? Has what? Never mind. Never mind. Make this make sense. If she's not prone. Do over. If she, yeah, if she's not prone. It doesn't make sense to do what I was gonna do. Right. So, okay. I'm gonna peek around the corner, 
okay. try to get our sit rep and see what we got. <clears throat> you see obvious caster and two hobgoblin longbowmen. Yep. Gonna stand up, hold an action, and see if anyone comes down the hallway. <clears throat> okay. So holding, delaying, basically? Delayed action, yep. Okay. All right. So this kind of, this actually turned out to be longer of a combat than I had expected. Because usually we don't have this many players. I think this is the most players we've ever had at a single time. So um, that's kind of why the, the combat is moving a bit slower than usual. But I really have to fucking be. <laughs> so if it's okay with you guys, I would like to take a short five minute break when we come back, I'll take monster initiatives and then we can continue. Does that sound okay for everybody else? Sounds mm -hmm. great. Awesome. We will be yeah. right back, guys. Don't go anywhere. Just taking a quick five minute pee break and we will be right back. I'll put on some tunes for you while we are away. Okay. I'm going to get a snack.
Alright guys, nope, we are back, back in the middle. Uno momento while I get the uh, correct scene up. Alright, there we go. Beautiful. Look at all these beautiful faces. Alright, so who's ready for me to bring it? You better bring it. I don't know if you can, dog. Uh, again, always been completely underwhelmed with just everything you throw at us. So, you know, it's just... Truly, truly. Truly, yeah. Uh -huh. Um, question on Sanctuary Buckle. Do I have to make the save every time I want to attack, or I only have to make the save once? Every time you attack. Okay. <clears throat> and I am going to try and do that first. He passes. Stops rolling. Uh, okay. Attacking you, Ammo Sue. With a ray of frost. Does that hit? Oh, for 10 cold damage. I am down. Put your fire <clears throat> out. <laughs> and. Buckle, go ahead and take your free. Sweet baby Jesus. Here's a hammer to the face, bitch. Oh, damn. Noise. Dog's excited. I'm excited. <laughs> Go ahead and roll a D100. I got a D100? Mm hmm. Damn. 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 Uh, roll an extra D10. Okay. Yeah, so you obliterated him. You chunked him. One Just shot. Boom! Right in the jaw. I want to knock the jawbone down the hallway. <laughs> uh, make an intimidation roll. My god damn. Eh. <laughs> boom! Boom! Uh, roll it again. I'll give you advantage on that. This is where the money is in. Alright. Oh. <laughs> so so not enough to scare the other uh hobgoblin who's gonna Sorry. shoot at you. And hit. It is a hit. This could be um six damage. Oh, that Whip. is exactly how many hit points I have. So you're at zero, so you're bobble headed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're barely conscious. Okay. You can either move or attack. Can't do both. Or some other action. Sure. Right. Yeah, yeah. Single actions, basically. But if one of those actions is to heal, I can presumably move as well, right? I'll give you five feet. Crikey. Because, like, healing is would be an action, so... 
All right. Bear, you're back. I'm back. So, like, do I have any hair left? <laughs> or am I, am, I, am I back to normal? <laughs> yeah, you're back to normal, so you have full hit points. Okay. Right. And, uh, yeah, will... you see a, a hobgoblin with a bow. Very surprised to see you materialize. <laughs> I'm like, I'm back, who's your, uh Who's your deity? Just so I can give it some oh, flavor. Good, good question. Let me look. Uh, it's been a while since I looked at mine. Where is that? I don't know. Where would I have written that down? In my notes, right? You're a ranger, right? Yeah. What's your alignment? <laughs> It'll be on the, the core part of your sheet at the very top. Like where your oh. character name and experience and stuff is. Oh, right. Yeah, I, I never I never filled that in. I don't know why. Oh, okay. Well, now would be a good time. So we'll get this filled out yeah. now. I, okay. I, I don't know how we overlooked that, but these things happen time to time in D&D in &D games. You miss something on character creation. Yeah, it's been a long time since I looked at this character sheet. So your alignment basically is like your your overall character type, uh, your, your general morality. Mm-hmm. So for ranger, you'd probably be chaotic, because vagabond don't really stay in one place too long. Sure. Um, so I'd say probably chaotic neutral or chaotic good. Yeah, I'd be chaotic. Chaotic good, good. would be like Robin Hood. That's the perfect uh, archetype for chaotic good is Robin Hood. Okay. Because yeah, he be he done. committed crimes, but it was for the greater good. Sure. Chaotic okay. neutral would be more like Jack Sparrow. Right. But yeah, still gotta go to jail. Can't just be robbing people. Yeah, so did you go chaotic good or chaotic neutral? Uh, chaotic good. Okay. Uh, give me one moment and I will find you a meaningful deity. Anytime, Adobe. There we go. Here we go. Let's see. And you're human, correct? Yes. You could go with... Trying to find something naturey. Go with the deity I made up in uh, my world. Link's Titan, the god of light. No, I don't want to do. I don't want to uh -huh. cross the streams. That'd be no, good, that'd don't. get too confusing. Oh, the meme image would be so great though. We are nine. gonna go with. So mean. Ah, perfect. Guerin Windstrom. I'll actually copy pasta that and put it in chat. Okay. I'll put it in my, my channel chat. Guerin Windstrom is the god of tracking, whose domains include knowledge and nature. Symbol is a paw print with a five pointed star in its center. So, mm. Devil Wolf. <laughs> He's neutral good, so. Same, same uh, corner of the alignment chart, so that's fine. Sure. I'm assuming that's probably the best fit out of all the ones yeah, I'm looking sounds, at. It does sound good. Makes sense okay. for rain. So now that we know that... Yeah. So I'll I'll say that like there's a shimmering of like leaves kind of come into play and you just kind of step out of it like oh, 
and they quickly would just the leaves just wilt and fall to the ground behind you. Okay, I gotta get my hit points back. Okay, so... Yeah, paladins don't have a specific alignment requirement anymore. You used to have to be lawful in uh, 3.5 to be a paladin. Same with certain types of monk. I'm ready. I'm ready to fight. Awesome. Take a shot yeah. at him. Let's go. Uh, that didn't work. Oh. Roll a oh, D100. It, it lagged. Okay. Sometimes if roll 20 starts to like really lag, uh, refreshing it fixes it most of the time. We'll see. We'll see. 37. Okay. Let me check and see what that is. Let's keep sending me to the wrong table. Game, please. All right. 37. <laughs> Thank you, Light, very much for that host. Can I get a, uh, can I get a shout out for Light Up, please? Welcome everybody, good to see yous. We are in the midst of quite a dangerous battle, as most of the party is either incapacitated or dead. Things are not looking good for our heroes. Eh, I ain't shook. We need to get Light in here in one of these games someday. <sighs> She's fantastic. Yeah, I'm down for that. I'm hoping eventually I can find a steady game to put on Wednesday nights, so I might be looking for more players soon. But we'll talk about that. All right, I need you, you to roll Dax, Sherbs. All right, one second. A dexterity save is fine. Oh, well, either way. Uh... If are you proficient in dexterity saves? You have a little yeah, check box in it. I, okay, I would, so it I should be seventeen. Six. Okay. Yeah, would have been. So seventeen. Yeah, you're good. Um, you almost dropped your weapon, but you you managed to hold on to it. Mm -hmm. You you probably snagged it on part of the rust monster or something. Like snagged your bow and jostled it for a second. I'm just like my bad, <laughs> my bad. Vicky, your turn. All right, so who all is up uh, right now? Who's still up? Dale's asleep, but up. Yeah. You're still up. I'm still up. Bear just who is Bear just rematerialized, and Danderfluff and Garrett are both up. All right. Well, a quick perception check around the battlefield to see if I can determine who is the most wounded, because uh, I'll rush to and make a medicine check. Uh, no roll required, that'd be Spruce. He's pretty much right next to you, and he's, like, gagging on his own blood at this point. Alright, then uh, I will go ahead and I'm going to, yeah, just uh, use uh, action to try and stabilize him. Nope, wrong direction. Oh, Spruce uh, is in the lower right corner. Duh, okay, sorry. I just know, you probably can't see because of the dynamic lighting. I don't know if that cuts his nameplate off. It cuts the yeah, it cuts the nameplate off. Yeah, that's why. Okay, so then medicine. I'm gonna use a lucky die to reroll that. Good call. Uh, uh, not so much. Yeah, you're not done. able to stabilize him. Like I don't know how to help you. So that uh, would be my action. Does that right. count as a fail? <laughs> no, it's not uh -huh. low enough to count as a fail. Okay, um, and uh, that was my action, right? Correct. And the only hostile is that one little hobgoblin-y dude? And the or... caster who's further down the hallway. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to stick to my... I'm going to see if I can hop out, fire an arrow back, and then hop back over here. You already took your action to try and uh, stabilize. Shit. So. Yeah, duh. okay. So then I'm just going to preemptively take a, a key point, expend that to take a dodge action if something okay. comes at me. Good As call. Dale, you're asleep. Serafina. <laughs> Dale, you're asleep. All right, here we go. That is a fail. Danderfluff. 
I'm going to see that the big guy's back up, and I'm going to hop here and then reckless attack this guy. All right. Oh, can I rage and reckless attack at the same time? I believe so. Yeah, that's fine. All right, yeah, I'm going to rage too. Can. All right. First in instance of it happening, I'm pretty sure you can. Um, but yeah, if, if Joey says that that's correct, then I'll, I'll defer to him. I trust yeah, him. The, the glad barbarian in the Saturday group does it all at a time. Yeah, I actually haven't had a lot of barbarians. Now I have a ton. Uh, yes, that, that definitely hits. For nine. Nine, eh? You have more than nine. Okay. Spruce. Death save. That is a fail. Got a full count on Spruce. It's two for two. And Garrett. I'm going to drop the full lay on hands into myself <clears throat> greed wow i still have a spell the, the selfish plays <clears throat> greed the greed is real i'm over Buckle here greed to, like, emote, please. people bbd greed okay <laughs> it will just be this <laughs> yep oh my gosh i know no whatever, bitch, whatever. She does not approve. I got myself together. <laughs> Break me down. I shame. think not. Cause a real pretty face I got. I will not have the one action this round. So rude. Okay. And does that complete your turn? I just yeah, staring I at you action. now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just noticed This jerk's the gonna drop stream. his bow and grab... <laughs> long sword. A schlong sword. He is definitely going to hit. He's just staring at you. For eight damage on Danderfluff, so that's eight, uh, four, rather. Sorry. <laughs> bork, bork. Hello? Bork? Bork? Bork, bork. It's Dingo. Is that you? This is Doge. Bork, bork. He's really going okay? for it. I guess. I guess. Okay. <laughs> What's he moved happening? his head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's great. I feel like I missed something. Anyone else like how Doge and Buckle <laughs> kind of have the same hair color? Kind of. Oh, it's funny. He was going bork, bork, bork. So he goes to block him, and then I just see a little head come <laughs> up over the shoulder. Oh. Uh, yes, yes. Bork, bork, bork. I like how he stays poised, ready for another bark when he's not barking. <laughs> <clears throat> Caster casts. The ghost. <laughs> Vanishes from view. No! <laughs> Punk, run away. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that brings us to Bear. Alright. Oh. Let's try, let's try this My wife again. scared the shit out of me. I was just like, fuck up, behind you! <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. Attack on... Uh... On the one. It was a very good bork. <laughs> on the schlong sword wielding uh, character. Eleven eh. is a miss. Okay. Mickey! Hey, Mickey, uh, you're so fine, you're so fine, you try to heal trip. Wait, that doesn't work. I fucked up, yeah. I fucked up, yeah. the, <laughs> I fucked up the scheme. Save the healer first. <laughs> Okay, when so... When I was licking the beanbag chair... 
was like, it you was a very good Borg. Can, uh, so can you give me an idea of what kind of wounds Trip is experiencing or Spruce has on his body? Because um, I, I might be able to get crafty here. Oh, he's I, crispy, what, what, right? That's what brought you down was the fireball, right? Yeah, burned him down. Okay, so yeah. burned. Yeah. Gather some aloe. I'm gonna have to. My, you won't get to see my party trick today, I guess. I'm just gonna use a medicine check. Just put some ointment on it. You'll be fine. Don't got any ointments. Medicine. There we go. Yeah. Didn't Bennett use up? He all is the stable. <laughs> no, Bennett had a bunch of good items on him uh, when he bamfed out. But yeah, stabilized. <sighs> okay. And uh, I, that's. I mean. You can move, but you've used your action. Yeah, so I'm just going to uh, get in front of Serafina. You know, just get ready to heal her next. Okay. Or stabilize her next. Dale, you're asleep. <laughs> Serafina. <laughs> Such you're just having a great time, huh, Scruffles? I'm working on my yeah, essay. Let's do tomorrow right now. <laughs> like, I guess I need yes. <laughs> Summon you know, Dingo spell. Tomorrow. What? Tomorrow. You said tomorrow. Tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow? Was, yeah. Suri Buta. I liked it. <laughs> tomorrow. 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 What? She's gonna eat some pasta. <laughs> tomorrow. I don't have any pasta. It's pasta. It's pasta. See, here in America, we like we like to pronounce the English language as it m was meant to be spoken. Hey, oh, oh, hey. Hey, oh, hey. oh. <laughs> what are you talking? I always love that expression. That's such that's such a downstate thing. What are you talking? That translates yeah. into what did you just say? We uh, we talk with a, a bit more. We talk more proper up here in the north. Uh, don't use slang like that, you know. All right, so that was Serafina, and next we have Danderfluff. I'm gonna swing at him. Normal roll. Sixteen. Sixteen is a hit. Dead. 16 damage! You're just playing like whack-a-mole with these things, man. Just like, hey. Pretty back. much. And I'm the one getting whack-a-mole. Does that complete your turn? I'm gonna bounce right here. Okay. Yeah. It's Bruce. You're stable, but unconscious. Garrett. Dale's still asleep, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dale, you're awake. <laughs> Held action. Uh, uh, uh. Ow. Okay. And does that complete your turn? Okay. Back up to the top. We got bear. Yo. <laughs> it is your turn. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move. Oops. What? What? I'm not editing my token. Uh, right here. Okay. And I guess I'm already an attack. There's no like enemies in view, right? Uh, you don't see any now. Yeah, I'm just here to protect. Uh, roll a d20. Okay. Oh, what? Nope, you don't say anything. Okay. All right, Mickey, your turn. Oh yeah, stabilizing Seraphina. That'll be a medicine roll, please. Yep, yep. Uh, I'll use my last lucky die to get a lower roll. <laughs> 
Uh, I'll say that you have enough practice by now. I'll give you the extra point and say she's stable. She cauterizes her own wounds. But uh, I'll say it costs two uses. Instead of one. Well, yeah, you still used your, your lucky roll. Well, I mean, of the of the healer's kit uses. Yeah, yeah. Because it has... Okay. That's fine. Cool, cool. Yeah. Since you you literally just stabilized three other people, so I'll give you a, I'll give you a plus one to the roll. It's fine. Excellent. I'm Close on medic duty. I mean, it's I not pretty. Really She's probably got bandages like wrapped around her nose and mouth, but which Actually, is totally unnecessary. The artisan tools, which I chose you like to get bandaged her arm to her face. Were weaver's tools, which I just chose <laughs> that because we were talking about it earlier. But I feel like that would uh, help with making neat uh, good looking splints and and weaves you know Put the weave meister weave into the cast i don't know sure bandage weaves dale you've been smacked in the face and now you're awake huh? Uh. okay um i don't know what to do <laughs> disoriented uh is everything dead Roll a d20. Fireball batty. Roll a d20? Okay. You don't see anything down the hallway. Oh, okay. I just, like, look at the rest of you. I'm like, what? Where is it? Where is it? What do I punch? Dude, you can punch me. But we <laughs> we, we, we punched everything that, that needs to be punched. What up, Leppa? Are all dead? Uh, one of them got away. Can we get a shout out in chat for uh, Leppa, please? Oh, oh. <laughs> Just like put down my fists and. Why do I keep doing that? And just look really sad. Yeah, no, I know. I didn't get to help at all. I didn't get to punch very much either. Alright, Serafina, <sighs> you are stable but conscious. You mean Danderflow. Unconscious? Yes, unconscious is what I meant. Thank you. I'm going to brain, do something very, very dumb. But hopefully it works. I'm going to take out the the floating stone block trinket that I have in my bag. Uh-huh. And I'm going to whisper into it just loudly enough to where people around me can hear it. And then I know I'm going to have to roll something for this. But be like, all right, guys, I'm going to use this. And what this does is it'll find if there's any people hidden around here. And then I'm just going to let it float there. That's kind of like an invasion of privacy, though. Yeah. Uh, roll a d100. That's pretty neat. It just floats there. Do anything else? Just ready in. I was okay. hoping if there was somebody hidden, it might have freaked him out maybe a little bit. <laughs> Spruce is unconscious, and Garrett? Uh, I'm going to drop a Cure Wounds into Spruce. You mean Sarapena? Sorry, yes. All right, Sarafina, you are conscious with four hit points. Hooray! I imagine Dale and I are doing a handshake to just boost mm -hmm. our spirits. It's the sad version of it. Yeah, Does that mean slow... I can do a thing? If we're still on initiative, you'd have to wait. Uh, are we still in the initiative, Thog? So I gotta wait to do a thing. He reappears. I fucking casts a spell. <laughs> Waves his arms, you see a shower of sparks fly from his hands, and he just stands there smiling at you. Where is Can he? We roll Arcana. Shoot him in the mouth. Where is he? Arcana? Oh. Uh, no. Trip is the only one I would allow to roll Arcana on that. 
I mean, if I see this, I'm immediately letting an arrow loose. Well, we're going through initiatives, so... Oh, I'm sorry, if I lost our, our point in initiative. I forgot where we were at. No problem. <clears throat> So All I right. wouldn't have any idea what spell he just cast or anything? Well, you literally just got revived, so you're still prone and there's a bunch of people in your way. You wouldn't have a clear mm -hmm. line of sight to see him anyway. Okay. There. Okay. Guys, what did he do? I couldn't see. Get out of the way. Yeah, I'm very confused. Wait, oh, but but I can I, It's the... He's in view right here. Mm-hmm. Okay. And... I'm going to, I guess, like, well, all I do is shoot arrows. Let's shoot another one. <laughs> okay, roll to hit. Okay, make an intelligence save. Mm -hmm. Okay, and roll your damage. Your damage has been noted. All right. Mickey, you are next. All right, so I see this thing, right? I can see it there. It hasn't vamped away yet. It's 30 feet away. Uh, okay, I'm going to... No, I'm, I'm not going to let this thing teleport the fuck away. No, I'm going to charge towards it and just running slam at it with my quarter staff. I'm going to be ballsy. Okay. Uh, make an intelligence save. All right. Said ballsy, not intelligent. <laughs> okay. Um, so Noted. go ahead and move your token. Okay. Uh, you get that thing. close to it, and you realize this is an illusion. So you basically stop yourself from running headlong into the wall. Why are you because there, there would have been nothing there to, to swing at, so you would have, like, fallen or bounced into the wall, something okay. like that. <clears throat> so the illusion's revealed when I, I in, interact with it. Right. Hmm. So, I'm... Uh, the, then what do I see in front of me? I know I don't have a, a very significant light source, but there's some light bleeding in, right? What's What do I see further down? Nothing. You just see this illusion in front of you. Um... What the does the illusion look like it's going to still attack? Uh, it's, it, waving running... its, it's waving its arms. Uh, I'm going to try to disrupt the illusion just however I can. I'm just going to run Well, my... you it already appears like semi-transparent to you now. Yeah, but I mean, it, it still seems like it's trying to do shit. M Mickey <laughs> would try to just like interrupt okay. its form somehow and just... Like, oh, you dick, and then just like yeah, flail his yeah. arm, run inside the image. Yeah. So goes away or yeah and and just you know maybe if it's not perfectly high resolution or something it will fuck up uh so i just kind of run uh, wipe my quarter staff through him a bunch of times it's like okay. a mop in a floor yeah it it reforms like you know it's like I'm swinging through nothing i'm just gonna keep doing that to to see if it has any effect on distracting it doesn't realizing. seem to make any difference. It keeps performing the same gestures on a loop, it seems like. All right, well, well, Mickey's not going to take just less than six seconds uh, as a failure. He's going he's gonna to commit one round to it. Okay, Dale. That's me. Um, so I would have moved up and ran here and tried to punch him as well. Okay, make but... an intelligence save. I'll give you advantage, because you're seeing him swing at it. Oh, I did. Okay. It's an illusion. <laughs> yeah, you, you realize that it's an illusion. Oh, okay. Like, start swinging, and then do, like, the sudden stop, like, the fuck? <laughs> <clears throat> Doing anything else? Um... I stick my finger in its nose. Noted. <laughs> <laughs> Serafina. Um. So I'm seeing all of this happening. Are you standing <clears throat> up? I'm gonna stand up, yes. Then yes. Okay. Well, then I'm gonna take a second 
to drink a healing potion then. Okay. That'll be my <laughs> Danderfall. action for the round. It's 2d4 plus 2, right? Correct. Yay! Not bad. Not bad. Pretty good. Better okay, than Avarahe. Alright, so do I know that that one right there is an illusion? I'm frantically shouting, like... Yeah, it's pretty it. obvious. Yeah. Okay. Then I'm gonna sneak through them and then keep going down the hallway. Okay. And I'll hold here and ready. Okay. <clears throat> Spruce is unconscious. Garrett. He's going to go join Danderfluff. Can't make it all the way there unless I want to do a double move. So I guess I'm going to do that. Ooh, that looks... Can I at least get it? Even though I did a double move, but I didn't move the whole thing, can I take a closer look at what that is? At least from afar? That's the barricade. <laughs> okay. Never mind, all good. Okay. I'm done. All right, Bear, it is your turn. Yeah, I... Can we... Can we kill all these things yet? What are all these things that we're fighting? I don't understand. Oh, no, it's a fucking ghost. <laughs> I guess I just keep firing arrows still. I'm, I'm, I'm doing everything I know. I'm, I'm punching it, I'm hitting it. And it's just not disappearing. Yeah, well, let's try one more. So obviously I'm gonna be in here. Well, you'd know that it's an illusion. Like you don't have to take a shot at. Uh, Shooting at it's not gonna do anything. Uh, it's like a, it's a trick, know. basically. Self satisfaction, yeah. though. Hmm? Sure. Yeah. I mean, don't stop me. Don't let me stop you. I'm just yeah. saying you don't have to feel like you need to take a shot at. It. It's yeah. it's plainly apparent that it's an illusion at this point. Okay. Well. Hmm. I guess I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move here and uh, stay on the ready. Okay. So my guy doesn't know what else to do. It was an animal I might have some kind of insight uh, we're all animals that's fair does that bring it to my turn correct okay yeah. I'm gonna run for it and as I'm running for him to yell out hey can anybody give me some light Garrett's got a shield lit up Yep, that'll be providing some light for you. All right, excellent. Then I am going to use my action to go ahead and dash my 80 feet forward down this little tunnel. Right out of my light. <laughs> yep, uh, I assume you'll be behind me uh, at <laughs> some point. It's 40. And unless something stops me. At some point. <laughs> that would be nope. my action. Wait, move back 10 feet. And make a dexterity saving throw with disadvantage. All right. Uh -oh. Um. Yes. Hey. <laughs> Who's up for some roast, Mickey? You almost fell into a pit. All right. So move would... back five feet. All right. If I can shout anything, I'll shout back. There's a pit up here. And then I will end my turn. Okay. Did he just say he's going to spit over there? I think so, yeah. Is there some kind of roll we can make to see if we heard him? Well, now I just know he said he's, he's spitting. You guys are close no. enough. You don't need to roll. No roll required. Yeah, I didn't exactly clear hundreds of feet before I ran into the pit. You guys are pretty close behind. Me. 
Okay. So next, I need... Who's next? Dial! Uh, 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 well... I mean... I kind of don't want to leave our squishies behind unprotected. <laughs> Uh, I think I'm gonna just move back into the room and keep an eye out and stay with Serafina and Trip. Okay. Serafina? I'm alive and awake and I'm gonna, uh, not really know if I wanna go chasing after this caster guy. Um. Spruce is still unconscious. I will give him a one level one cure wounds. Do it. Trip, you have five hit points. And you oh, are now conscious. Year old. Yay. Nice, mm, Bruce. Nine, you feel very tan. <laughs> More, more so red than tan, but you know. All right, dander flugen. Yeah, it's a little crispy. The dander flugen is going to follow the Mickey. Mickey the monk. Wait, let's see. Uh, it's five. Right there. Right there. Okay. And ready. All right. Spruce. Is it over? Uh, I, I don't know. They, the caster guy disappeared, and then he reappeared, but then he was an illusion. So yeah, I'll just get rid of the uh, the illusion. <laughs> it's still there, but. It appears transparent I, I, to everybody. I tell all that it's an Bruce. obvious illusion at this point. I the tell, trick has played its Bruce. played its course, or run its course <laughs> rather. Played its course. What am I, fucking stupid. <laughs> what am I? Some kind of dumb. Is there like a magic thing I can do to possibly sense if he's still in the room, and like you everyone can, just ran off? You can roll Arcana, that. and I'll give <laughs> like, you advantage. Oh. He's like sitting like right next to us, and everyone else ran off. Uh, know. You know he's a wizard. You know he's capable of casting the invisibility spell. You don't see his corpse anywhere. He's still out there somewhere. Somewhere out there. Uh -oh. Beneath the hairy bushnons. <laughs> so you doing anything, Spruce? Uh, just that I guess I'll wait for Seraphina to continue. Okay, Garrett. I'm going to follow Mickey and Danderfluff for now to at least see this pit for myself. Bingo! That pit ain't shit. <clears throat> so, so far, ha, is this fully barricaded in front of us? Just like the one we passed before? Uh, it looks like there's a door built into it, which is, like, a jar, which is why I don't have it blocking dynamically, because you can yeah. obviously see that there's something beyond that. A jar. How did he get troops past this? Unless he triggered this as he ran by. Hmm. Okay. That's it for now. Okay. Back up to you, Bear. We didn't hear any rocks or anything fall when he nope. departed earlier, right? No. Okay. Fuck. 
Where did the did I see where the rest of the group moved off to? Yep, they, north and then say? east. Okay, so I'm gonna follow follow them. Thank you for the host, Jacob. What's up, everybody? Go up there. How far is that? Yeah. Sorry, I'm zoomed. Roadhog would be a barbarian, or maybe a fighter because of second wind, because he's got a self heal. Maybe even a paladin. Whoa, Maybe lay on hands. Yeah, that'd be pretty close. Chugging out of a canteen, lay on hands. There's a lot of different ways you could do that fail boat. I'm just like, hey guys, what gives? Well, now there appears to be a big hole right here. Yeah. Uh, but I could easily jump it. <laughs> well, feel free. I can do a backflip right now. Go on then, do a backflip. I swear I can do a backflip to be really good. All right, Mickey, your turn. Okay, so I'm gonna take a deep, uh, deep gander down into this pit to see how deep was at the bottom. Ten feet, just a pit. Okay, so just ten feet, just a pit. Yep, nothing fancy. And this has slats in it, so you could see through it. You were saying this uh, wall. Yeah, it's another, like, ramshackle barricade, but it's got a door built into it, which is kind of hanging ajar, which is why I got rid of the dynamic lighting. All right, then I'm just going to go ahead and jump the pit and okay. spend a key point to double my jump distance um, and just get a nice, you know, running start. Yeah, I, I mean, you want me to roll for that? Uh, yeah, either acrobatics or athletics, whichever you prefer, and you'll have advantage. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure I can definitely clear that. Unless I fuck up terribly. I'm, I'm considering your key point in the DC. Yep, you're fine. Oh, you glide right, right over it. Ooh, you're like, like Princess it. Peach in Super Mario 2. Alright, and I get up to this. What do I, uh... What do I see when I'm looking through it? I mean... Like, what, just anything beyond it? How sturdy is this thing? It's ram. So, it's sturdy enough. I mean, you can't just walk through it, but... Yeah, but it, it would break pretty easily. Sure, I I would imagine so. With enough time, sure. And what's it made out of? Wood, mostly. Oh, this is fucking easy. We can tear this thing down. Do you want to... Well, there's a door it? in it that you could just walk through. Oh, yeah, I'm going to see if the door's unlocked. Yeah, it's it's hanging open, is what I'm saying. Like it's oh, yeah, obviously right. sorry, sorry. open. Yeah. You said it was hanging open, not just see, you can see through. Okay, yeah. So I'm gonna just peek on in. Yeah, I mean you can see what whatever your character can see because it's all based off of light sources. All right, then I'm gonna defer to the uh, the rest. There, of the group There's of no there. other sources of light, so yeah. It, besides Garrett's shield, you can't see anything. Yeah, I'm, I'm so used to to playing characters that have actually vision, but uh. But say, yeah, you guys, let's uh, let's just regroup and uh, decide if we're gonna go further. We need to to heal. Okay. And next we've got Dale. Doyle. Uh, yeah, just just pretty much holding in the room. Okay, Serafina. I say that we should catch up to the group. So, <clears throat> let's start moving. Dale, if you would like to follow, you may. I will. And Spruce, what are you doing? I'd follow. Okay. I'd wait for Spruce. Come on, Sprucey. Alright, so once you guys are done moving, we can go back to Bear. All done. All done. I'm just like... Yeah, I don't know if I can make that jump. How how am I gonna get across? <laughs> is it wall to wall pit, or is it have a lit? Mind you guys, it's really easy. You just sort of glide over. <laughs> could I see if you can and... climb down and then climb back up? You could certainly yeah. try. I just get to the edge and I look down. I'm like, oh, I wonder how far that is. It's 10 feet. 10 feet? 
like along well I've, i'm done moving for my turn but like along the wall <laughs> is it yeah is it wall to wall yeah you so. yeah. It, it'd be extremely difficult to try and walk around the edge of it gotcha damn near impossible we're still in initiative order yes okay i'm just i want to ponder it while everybody else goes all right mickey your turn Say, uh, if you guys wanna uh, wanna go forward, I can I can help get you all through this pit. It's it's only ten fucking feet deep. We can we can get everybody over this safe. And this door is fucking weak as shit. We can break it, or we can turn back. I'm honestly fine the, with that. The door's a jar, so we can run it. Yeah. Break it, right. Well, I mean, I just want to break something. So I'm pretending this door is needing to be broken. But it's not important. Uh, oh, did I skip you, Buckle? My bad. <laughs> you guys want to come on over here? I, I can. I think so. Yeah, Buckle, go ahead and safely. you can take your initiative then. Yeah, you skipped me too. He <laughs> <laughs> did. I I'm skip sorry, you guys. I should. I'm sorry. I didn't it's late. Didn't even realize. Didn't even realize. Just, like, cause Spruce is all unconscious and junk. <laughs> yeah, and then my my turn is gonna be taken up by the, that conversation. Okay, and Dandruff, go comes. ahead. You can go ahead. Well, I was going to get up there, and I was going to whisper to Garrett, throw me. Go ahead. Okay. Athletics. I, I wanted to say it low enough that they didn't, no one else heard it. All right. We got a, we're going to call this the curveball special. <laughs> Lenny. Oh my god, dog. <laughs> Why are you throwing? You did the phantom throw, you dick. There was nothing for him to catch. He was all ready to go. What's the matter? He's got the ball and he's actually shoving it into my leg right now. <laughs> ball ball. Uh, the ball. I don't know. I call ball. it the dander fluff scuffle. All right. <laughs> Does that complete your turn, <clears throat> dander fluff? If I can break down this wall, I'll break that down the wall. Again, okay. doesn't need to be broken down, but yeah, I'm sure it's yeah, a jar a open door. Well, I want to break the board down. I want to yeah, break we're, it on, down. we're on the same page. All right, make an <laughs> athletics check. There's three, and you got your great axe above your head as you're flying. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 if we need to make a clean escape, we don't want this door getting in our way. Huh? 22. Okay. You're tearing boards off of the big plank wall. You guys feel better? Yes, I do. Okay. Good, good, good. Dale, your turn. Uh, I just kind of like wait for everybody else to jump over and then I'll jump over. Okay, Serafina. Okay. Would I have enough, um, because, well, yeah, because that, that was 30 right there, and I could use my other action to get across, right? There's get currently the no room. Get out of the way! <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, okay, there's I'll there's no way there. you can try and jump across right now. Well, as soon as we get this door down, it's... Dandruff, you continuing to try and break down the wall? Do I see that I can just move through it then after yeah, hitting the board? Yeah, it's obvious. Okay, then yeah. The door's I'm just, just like hanging a jar. And just like, I just open the door and walk through it. I've got one point in intelligence. I'm not that dumb. But it's just cathartic, man. You know? Okay. So yeah, you, you walk through. You see a collapsed tunnel to your right. Tunnel continues forward, and there's a tunnel to your left. All right, I'm going to peek around this. I'm going to have my axe ready and peek around this corner. Hey! And then peek back. <laughs> I don't think I have movement. You've only moved 10 feet so far? I couldn't. I could, yeah, that's all my movement. I'll, I'll hang right here. Well, no, this is 
this is a new initiative. I had I had oh. been catching up to you last time. You've only used ten feet of movement this round. Oh yeah, I only have oh wait. Could I move from here to here? As a barbarian, no, you should definitely have more than ten feet of movement. You should have thirty. I only have twenty five because of my Well even still. Yeah, you have mm -hmm. enough movement because you've moved ten and then it's another fifteen to get in front of them. Alright, so then if I'm gonna want to use do that. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Because okay. I'm I only have one point in intelligence. But I'm gonna I'm gonna rage and I'm gonna reckless attack him. I'm gonna give my little Okay. Move ten feet back. Shit. I have foreseen this. As you rush towards him, he casts grease on the ground in front of you. <laughs> and you are automatically going to roll a four on that. So what is your total if you roll a four plus your dexterity? Oh, shit. Uh, that would be, if I rolled a four, I'm at 15, so. I'd be. So it would be a plus two. Yeah, plus two. So you got a six on the roll, so that is definitely a fail. And you fall prone. And just so I have it marked, I'll put that on the map where the grease is. You get a good greasy color. Do I have do I have time to yell out that he's here? Sure. Just give a yell, guys! I found him. <laughs> Yelp. <laughs> Guys, I found. Oh! <laughs> slip, 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 fall. <laughs> All right, Spruce, it is your turn. I'm gonna move here. Okay. And Garrett. The idea of me jumping across this pit is laughable, so I will continue to assist and throwing people over. So who's brave enough to risk my rolls? It's going to be tougher for medium people. Sure. Higher DC. What are you, what are you asking for? I'm going to throw people over to help. Yeah, I mean, know. I'm there. I'm ready. I'm amped. So you're ready to catch people? Yeah, I'll be the receiver. So you're just holding your turn to assist somebody jump over there? Yeah. Okay. Because I, I feel like I will just die if I fall down that hole. Bear, your turn. What? You're throwing people over? <laughs> I'm helping you get across. Uh -huh. If you need it. I don't know. I'm, I'm not just, feeling too... Here, just to, very spry. to streamline things a bit, if you and Mickey are committed to helping people get across, that's what you guys will be doing on your initiatives, and I'll just be giving people advantage on their roles to get across. That's what I expect. Okay, yep. let's do that. Um, so we, you want me to roll uh, dex? You can roll acrobatics or, uh, sorry, or athletics, acrobatics. whichever you yeah. prefer. Yeah, okay. And then telling him as soon as they land, immediately, go save Dandafluff. <laughs> and then and then Buckle has to roll something? Nope. Buckle, do, then... Buckle and Mickey don't have to roll anything. You just have to roll your athletics or acrobatics with advantage. Yep. Okay. You're able to get across. Okay, then I'll just move myself over. Is that all my movement? Uh, no. I'd say with with them helping, no extra movement. So you've only moved 10 feet. Okay, got it. Alright, that's it for me. Well, you can still move more. You have 30 feet of movement. Oh, I got you. Okay, I see what you're saying. Uh, what up, Crotchy? I'm just going to move over here and then just i want to peek around this corner and see what's going on yeah you see an opponent there actually it's weird the lighting isn't isn't showing me you move can i just like move up and so I can oh see? you hold on stop because there's grease right in front of you uh you probably can't oh. see because you're a human and you don't have a light source so you wouldn't be able to see anything I'm just like hello you just see you'd be able to see dander fluff on the ground like covered in grease like what's going on dude you got what a happened? greased up gnome next to you in front of you <laughs> okay like, yeah 
So, I mean, you can try taking a shot in the dark if you want, but... <laughs> shot in the dark, yeah. <laughs> One step Bye. away from you. Because <laughs> it's Ozzy Osbourne. Nothing Only enunciates me. when he's singing. Sharon! And even mm -hmm. then it's kind of shoddy. <laughs> It's almost like Ozzy Osbourne is is an idiot savant or something. You see him in real life and he's just stumbling around and you see how many like pills he takes. Oh yeah, and then he gets ridiculous. on stage. He gets on stage and he kind of looks like he knows what he's doing. Dude, I think he was born yeah. with an extra liver, honestly. Oh man, the stories. Yeah, with the amount of narcotics that legendary. fucking guys consumed, he should be dead like ten times over. Yeah, there's a. I'm pretty sure it's it's almost proved that he's superhuman. All right, so Mickey, you're assisting people. Dale. Mm. Yeah, I'll assist people to get over to. You can't assist any more than they're already being assisted. Yeah, no, okay. Well, then I just jump over. Once you get over. <laughs> Roll acrobatics with advantage. Go assist Vanderfly. Yep, you get across fine. And I go help Dandruff. Why? Wait, why is this a square? Because grease. Ah. Uh, do I? Can I jump over the grease to get at this dude? You can roll perception to see if you notice the grease. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you notice. All right, I like. Jump over Dandruff and the geese. Uh, you can try with an acrobatics check. Please don't, don't crush me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and then I. That's gonna be your entire turn. <gasps> no, but that was just movement. Including acrobatics like checks. I gave you plenty in six seconds. Don't bitch at me. I let you run, jump over a pit, make a 90 degree pivot, jump over grease, and you still want to attack. Get off my nuts. Six Dang. seconds, Scruffles. Dang. Six oh, seconds. Oh, Seraphina. I'm jumping across. Okay. Acrobatics or athletics? With advantage. Uh... Athletics. Uh, I'll give you five extra feet of movement, but you're able to make it across. Okay. I like jump across and I like just barely catch on the ledge and. Well, trying to help you across would be kind of like a game of hot potato now. <laughs> oh, hot, hot, hot! Hot potato! Hot, 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 hot! And I'll go there. That's, okay. That's gonna be it. Dandruff. Not in the way. <laughs> I'm gonna get up and carefully walk through the grease. You're gonna have to make another dexterity save. Not just gonna stand there. God damn. That it. is a fail. You fall back down. There's, it's like there's banana peels. Oh, get there. knocked down! But I didn't get up again! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, so Spruce is next. I mean, unless you want to do try and do something from a prone position. I'll shoot him with a hand crossbow. Okay. Uh, I'll just rolling, look at him and just... Rolling with disadvantage. Sixteen is a miss. Armor takes advantage. Uh -huh. Ping. Zips off his armor. Bruce. Uh, go across with the help of people. Acrobatics or athletics. I'm probably assuming acrobatics would be better for you. And Chumbawamba, that's the name of that fucking band. I remember yeah. that shit. 
Oh, get no damn. Oh, oh that's get up again. Man, man, tub thumping, man. It's on my playlist. Uh, because you rolled a twenty, I'll say crossing the ten foot pit only used five feet of movement. Yay! Just <laughs> fucking jump in the air. You uh, do a somersault and. Jiminy fucking ahead. cricket over there. <laughs> Hey, Mickey's helping too. Maybe couldn't do I... Mickey. Doesn't he have a boots of jumping? Does it ring? Oh. So I'd probably like You'd jump if I used it in ceiling, here. Yeah. yeah, I'd break my neck. Can I retcon that and say I'd like to? <laughs> right into the ceiling. Can I press the digitation start cleaning off the square he walks in? Doesn't work that way. You're not going to be able to beat magical grease with a prestidigitation. Not in combat. It's just not going to work. Because it's a it's a more powerful spell. Then I will put grease on him. Between. Are you casting grease? Yeah. What level spell is that? One. Bullshit. Counter spell. What? He that counters your spell. What? Oh, that's about to turn into like a, a slippery, uh, interesting mess. He sees you casting grease and he counterspells. It's a thing. He says bullshit counterspell. Does he say it in common? Yep. Except it's more like bullshit. Counterspell. I used to do that in Magic the Gathering tournaments all the time. People get so fucking angry at me. You're that asshole, aren't you? Bullshit! Counterspell. Oh yeah, counterspell is great, dude. Uh, you, whenever, you, whenever I cast counterspell, it was always prefaced by bullshit. Oh, what are you casting? Bullshit. Counterspell. Oh, what are you casting? The linchpin in your infinite fucking combo deck? Bullshit. Counterspell. All right, you cocky bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Bullshit. Counterspell. So you still cast the spell, he just erased it, basically. Oh. Well, doesn't he get a counter DC check to fight against a counter spell? Not if it's lower than third level. You're thinking of dispel magic counter spelling rules from 3.5. No, I'm reading in counter spell that he gets a chance to do it, but you're right, it's third spell or lower. Yep. If it's third or lower, it's automatic. I just get to say no. Mm hmm. Triple in that spell. He will, soon enough. <laughs> Alright, so that was Spruce's turn. Now we've got Garrett. <clears throat> Alright. Alright. Here we go. <laughs> oh my god, dog. <laughs> Bork! Do, Do it for it Doge! <laughs> Yeah, you have advantage, because Mickey's there to try and help you get across. I like the little... Uh... Yep, you're able to get across. Hooray! Boom! And... So that's ten. Twenty. I assume similar perception? Um, At this point, you'd know that the grease was there. Because there's enough people, like, kind of like, whoa, whoa, you know what I mean? Oh. They'd be able to stop you before you tried to walk into it. Can I toss my shield down and use that to skid across the grease? Get to the other side? How much movement do you have left? Ten. Oh, but that's so cool. It's like the Ninja Turtles, man. What kind of shield do you have? Uh, a shield. <laughs> there's, only, there's only shield. So I've always assumed that I've been rocking like a kite shield, but well, yeah, shield's pretty small. Like your basic shield's pretty small. It's a mix. There's... It's a little bit bigger than a buckler. Uh, not there so much. There are no specific rules for differing shields in fifth edition. There is only shield plus two AC, so it's whatever. I have a picture of his, of uh, Garrett's character. Oh yeah, that's right. They got rid of tower shield. shields, which I think is bullshit. They need to bring those back. Um. That will be an acrobatics check if you would like to do that. Not Can athletics. Not athletics. Because that's all dexterity. That's all balance. Okay. 
So I'm gonna toss it's, that down. Yeah, it's not. That wouldn't be a strength based check. Fucking bullshit. <laughs> nope. You fall prone next to Danderfluff. Okay, so whoop! And boom, your shield and then, goes flying down the hallway. As it's going, can I yell the command word attentive? Or vigilant? Sure. And have it. Dog. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> so now, it, instead of flying off down, it still floats back above me? Sure. Yes. But you are pro. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I tried to be cool. This square. Backfired. Okay, yep. And does that complete your turn? Uh, yeah, uh, that's a lot. Okay. How much of a cock do I want to be? Fuck, you should have used inspiration on that. God damn it. Oops. Yeah, I want to be a big cock. I want to be a big cock. Yeah, come on, Thog, satisfy us. Jesus Christ, man. <sighs> okay. Let me just check the range on this. Yeah, he's going to dismiss Greece. So I'll get I'll get rid of that graphic in a moment. Oh, how kind. Here. He is going to cast Thunderwave. So I need Dale, Danderfluff, and Garrett to make constitution saves. Um, Garrett and Danderfluff are going to be at disadvantage. Why? It's constitution. Right, but it it's like a force wave and you're on a slippery surface. No, you said he got rid of, but he yeah, got rid of the uh, crease. Oh, that's right. Good call. Yeah, so normal roll then. Okay. Yeah, good, good work, team. So, Garrett, you are going to be knocked back. Uh, Bear, I need you to make a dexterity save to get out of the way. You got it. Yep. Uh, so you can either step to the side or back one square. Uh, so, Garrett, okay. you're going to get pushed back. There you go. Okay, I'm going to move to the side. Uh, so, Garrett, you also take 10 thunder damage. And Danderfluff and Dale each take 5. Can I move to the back one square instead? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. All right. And, Bear, it is your turn. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to shoot at this a-hole. Get him. Right between the horns, eyes, whatever it's got. And hopefully that hits. <laughs> I should hope so, otherwise everybody <laughs> back over the pit. <laughs> Get yeah, back. It's not letting me grab that. Hold on. Here we go. Okay. Now Grease is gone. And yes, 24 is a hit. Okay. 12 damage, nice. There we go. Get him. Don't like that. Dang, I, my guy's thinking, man, I forgot to grab my arrows. Yeah. Mickey, your turn. Uh... Oh man, and, and you're Arrow Man, right? So 
would I, uh, let's see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get in the room, because it seems like people are, are home, going through with this, uh, it's packed in here, god, it's crowded, do I see Bear? Where is he at right now? Um, on the other side of Spruce? The other side of Spruce. Well, I noticed that uh, he, he mentioned it earlier, brought it up earlier, and I'll be looking forward now. How's his arrow situation? Can I hook him up with some arrows? Do I notice he's, he's running low, lacking? His quiver's almost out? I don't think he'd be close to being out just yet. You can carry 20, so... Yeah. Uh, all right, well, uh, I shout out that if you need arrows, hit me up. But uh, I'm just gonna launch. Uh, I'm just gonna run towards him and clobber him. Okay. Because it's clobbering time. Make your attacks. That is a miss. Yeah, that that is. And uh, then I'm gonna use uh, my last key point to disengage. Okay. Bonus action. And rest of my movement to hide here okay dale i'm gonna hit it you're gonna try you have advantage er not yet dandruff is still prone wait so just oh. normal roll because you don't have anybody to flank 18 is a hit i've heard Nine is a miss. Use my key. Fourteen is a miss. Oh. Uh oh. Why'd you roll again? You only get two extra uh, strikes. Oh, right, sorry. I mean, unless you want the critical hit, I can make that. <laughs> um, and I'd like to do the knockdown. Deck save. Let me check. So, uh, everyone have a good Thanksgiving? You failed. I did. You did. Oh, yeah. Does that complete your turn? Mm hmm. Okay. You Sorry, fall down. Seraphina's muted. I'm gonna move here. Oh yeah. And... Oh yeah. Wait, so is he knocked down? He's prone. Now? I'm going to cast fairy fire on him. And what's that do? Has eat a wiener. It uh makes him glow, a outline of color, and uh he sheds. Dim light in a 10 foot radius, reading directly from the thing. Also, any attack roll against an affected creature or object has advantage if the attacker can see it, and the affected creature or object can't benefit from being invisible, and he must uh, make a deck save if he doesn't want to fail. Does yeah, he I'll do some that. Sort of uh, disadvantage or something from being on the ground prone. I'd say it's a normal roll. Given the type of spell that it is. Did he pass? Yes. I think he should take disadvantage because he's on the ground. He just got knocked over. But Yeah, and the Avengers just rolled up on his ass. He's terrified. You know? Look Technically... Because you're casting a spell at a prone target, it's a smaller target, so you should have disadvantage. So I mean, it kind of cancels each other out. Probably be the difference between a melee spell attack and a ranged spell attack, I'd right. say. I have no more spells. I'll roll it again. He passed anyway. Why well, couldn't have the eight been on that? Because then every attack on him would have had advantage. Regardless. And then he couldn't disappear on us again. It was a good attempt. Alright, Dandruff. If I had to do disadvantage on a 
constitution save, why doesn't he have to do disadvantage on a dexterity save on the ground? When I'm prone versus prone. No, the reason why I said disadvantage for that was because of the knockback. Because I f had forgotten I had dismissed Grease, remember? Okay. That's why it was normal roll instead of at disadvantage. Because I, for whatever reason in my head, I thought Grease was still there. That's why I was saying disadvantage for you, because of the knockback. Because you're on a slippery surface, so it would be easier to knock you back. You know what I mean? Still, I would consider that dex and not constitution, but okay. Well, it's a constitution save for the spell. Sure, which affects you bodily as opposed to dexterity, like knocking you about. But I get where you're going. I got it. <clears throat> right, so... That, well, that brings up a good question. Like, so would you say, like, a better way of doing that would be instead of changing the roll to a dexterity save, if you were on Grease, you automatically get knocked back and then con roll for whether it's full or half damage. Would yeah, that make more I, sense? Yeah, I'd go with that for sure. Okay. Just for future reference. Who, who knows if you'll ever fight somebody with this choice of spells again, but probably because it's me now. and I'm an ass. <laughs> <laughs> but... Yeah, good call. All right, so what are we doing? Where did I leave off? This is me. That was Dandruff. We were on Dandruff. That's correct. I'm going to get up, dust my knees off, and swing at him. Okay. And advantage because Scroofles? Yes. And Fairy Fire, right? In the... And he's prone. And he's... But you can't have super advantage, so. Right. That's it. I think my rage wore off, so it's only 15. Okay. Yeah, your rage would have worn off by now. Spruce? Ah, uh, magic missile level 2. Okay. Oof. Twelve damage noted. <laughs> and Garrett. I'm going to stand up. Mm -hmm. Step forward. Mm -hmm. Flick my shield out a bit. And then I want to pantomime it, but I can't because of uh gotcha. guy over here. But two hands up, hammer Get down. Mark! Do it. Hammer down! Here, we poke his head up. I oh, goddammit, with a 14. 14 is a miss. God damn it! What? What? Well, you sounded Disturb cool. Blue. Sorry, Blue. You're adorable. <laughs> oh, now Blue can't get comfortable. Real nice. <laughs> yeah, she's looking how, just how upset she is. Oh, oh. Had the perfect spot too, and now it's ruined. She's had to readjust three times now. But no, four. four? Oh Unbelievable, Buckle. Unbelievable. The things you put poor dogs through. Now she's looking around, reflecting on her life. <laughs> Jeez. It was a very good bork. All right, so my turn. I'm prone and getting hammered on. Please tell me I didn't do a spell. Oh, thank fuck I did. Okay, good. <laughs> I thought I had fucked up. He is going to Misty Step. Five, ten, twenty-five, thirty. And... Stand up. And... Who's closest? Dale? Dale, you're up. About time I cast a spell on you, eh? You already did! I went to sleep for like ten rounds! Yeah, but that was nothing. You're gonna be fine. Scorching Ray! This is 
a 15 hit? Yeah. Hmm. Does a 9 hit? No. Why are you still attacking? Because it's three rays, I have to roll for each one. 18, I take it hits. Mm -hmm. So two hits. Take seven, take five. And how much speed do you have left? I took the harder hits. <laughs> Just saying. It's not that on record. Two, 10, 15. Okay. He went this way. Where's that fucking whore going? He went to the right. All right, Bear, you are next. Oh, wait, how much damage did I take? The seven and the five? Seven plus five equals 12. Okay, I'm at two health. <laughs> did anyone see where Push, he went? flash! Where they I went? I did, yeah. Sorry for assuming gender. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I could just barely make it out. He went off to the right. Yep. All right. Let's go in after him. Fuck this guy. <laughs> Bear has had enough. Had enough of this shit. Going out. We're on the move. That's it. Yep. Next corridor up to the right is where he went. So okay. up here. Yeah. Okay. I just, I just wanted to make sure you knew that. Yeah, okay. I, I saw where he went. I just can't assume that my character saw it because I don't know. Yeah, I mean, you, you had line of sight. You would have seen him. Okay. Misty step, cast, and then move to the side. I mean, Scorching Ray is a very, you know, it's rays of fire, so kind of highlighted himself there for a second. You know what I mean? Uh, Mickey. All right. I'm going to just, I'm going to follow. I'm going to push forward. Okay. 40 feet of movement gets me there. Well, you went down this corridor to the, the right. Right here. I'll wait yeah. there. Okay. Um yeah i don't have any key points i don't have anything any kind of stuff um yeah i'll just i'll get right there I'll okay use my yeah I'll, I'll use my action to dash okay uh but dale that's as far as i'm going i look over at garrett and seraphina and ask like can either of you heal me <laughs> yeah. This many spells left. This many. Uh, Alright, I drink my second potion of healing then. Hey, alright. I'm Maybe just banking on the fact that nothing's going to do more than four damage. And would you like to move, Dale? Or does that complete your turn? Uh, I'll keep an eye on this dude, I guess. Okay. And Serafina? Trying to keep everybody on the screen. I think that's as good as I can get it for now. Does that complete your turn, Serafina? Danderfluff. Very angry, so I'm going to double move right here. Okay. Spruce? Magic missile level one. You don't have line of sight. If oh. he moved forward, though, he could probably get an angle. Maybe. You're gonna have to move more forward than that. I can't. I can't give you a line of sight around that much more. Yeah. Longer. I. Let's all move here. Yeah, we'll bring it down here. Uh, the beast okay. tanks. Okay. Garrett, still Garrett. double moving. Okay, I'm set up for next turn. <laughs> That's all I'm doing for now. Okay. 
I totally forgot I had this. Hold on a second, I have to look this up. Damn it, dog. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's cool, I ain't shook. Alright, let's see what we got here. Ew! Ew! What? What are we ewing? Ewoks, gross, imagery link, imagery link. It's mother nature, Scruffles. It's beautiful. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's it's just unsettling to look at, you know. It's it's not something Why you want to watch moving? on loop. Over I've never and over. seen it like move. It's like, ugh. Why that I'm watching it again. Close it, Jesus. Yeah, it, it's not something that was ever meant to be in that format. Yeah, I'm gonna cast this again. Do what I thought I was gonna do because that thing sucks. Okay, so, Mickey, I think you have the lowest. I got 4 HP. Okay, so that leaves me with 17. How many hit points do you have, Spruce? Five. That leaves me with 11. And how many hit points do you have, Garrett and Danderfluff? And... 14. Okay. All right, so Mickey, Spruce, and Garrett are asleep. Do I do I fall asleep just standing up? Yep. It it like I said the the spell doesn't denote that you're prone. So yeah, that's just. I'd say you just you'd fall asleep standing up. I just wouldn't want people to see me like that. You know, it's unnatural. Wait, so who fell asleep? Uh, Mickey, Garrett, who else? Me. Mickey, Garrett, Spruce. and Spruce. Okay. Alright, Bear, it is your turn. Oh, Bariel says, aren't uh, elves immune to sleep effects? That is correct. Oh, right. So I don't sleep. <laughs> You guys got to remember these things. I'm not going to tell you. Yeah, I didn't want to bring it up, but I, uh... Yeah, if it's if it's something like jo that, Joey, you can. If it's like a racial ability, maybe somebody yeah, over I, overlooked. I, I, I know that, but sometimes I, I like to just let but, people squirm a bit and figure it out on their own, you know? Sometimes you got to learn with tough love. So I move up here, and I'm just like, why is everyone asleep? Excuse me. <laughs> I kind of nudge him like, hey, uh... Why you you're asleep. <laughs> I'm awake. He's just stepping all over me. <laughs> oh yeah, Garrett's asleep. <laughs> Alright, so it's like uh, hey hey, anyone know Yeah, I'm going this way. That's as far as I can go. You've got line of sight if you want to take a shot. Do I? Because it doesn't doesn't uh doesn't appear on my screen. Oh, right. Here. It's hard for me to tell lighting. whose light is who. Okay. Yeah, I don't have the lighting for it. Okay. Take a pot shot. Just... You could shoot in the dark. Yeah, you could take a blind shot if you want. I, I mean, Just... I don't know. I don't know that I would know to do that. So I don't see anything. Well, Just you know clear. that's where he went. Yeah. Okay. You Those know he's down there somewhere. Yeah, I'll take a shot. Okay. Not standing. You may attack with disadvantage. Attacking with dis disadvantage. Uh oh. Of course. Yeah. Roll a D100. Of fucking course. Follow your instincts. <laughs> like I said, sometimes you gotta learn with tough love. Oh no. My first instinct was right. <laughs> Am I taking See. a nap with the rest of them? 
Uh, your bow has broken. Oh my. Oh. Well, that sucks. Well, that's unfortunate. Yep. Ranger with primary his weapon bow. is broken. Ouch. Do I notice this? It being my turn next. No, because you're asleep. Oh yeah, shit, I am. Fuck, man. <laughs> am I having uh, good dreams or bad dreams? It is a dreamless sleep. Oh, that's, that's even worse. I know, isn't it? You're just in the void. All right, so Bear went. Mickey is asleep. Dale. Dying. A fashion. Well, there he is. You're a Russian? A Russian. Russian, Russian, or Ram? Her friend that he told me. Oh shit, I can't Punch. even shield that. Fuck! Alright, do your damage. Or Use herd. key. Using key, herd. Punch. Oh. Miss. Punch. Ow! Roll your D100. Can I roll the damage as well? Uh, yeah, and that's going to be plus one on the critical, so roll an extra d4. Huh. Four. And, oh, oh shit, Scruffles, flavor it. <gasps> really? He's yes, dead? Oh my goodness, how am I going to kill him? Hmm. Well, I, like, run into, like, the darkness at him, and then <coughs> I immediately, like, once I get within sight of him, I just, like, beeline towards him. And I do like a jump and punch, you know, and then just like punch him like right in the face and crack his skull and his blood and brains everywhere. Okay. Yeah, I taught Good him flavor. that. <laughs> I taught him that. Like nobody puts me asleep for ten fucking rounds, you bitch. Okay. Are you guys ready for experience? Because we're running, we're oh, running yeah. a little behind schedule. I want to get you guys out of here, so let's. I'll I'll go through loot and experience, and then we'll wrap it up. Sound good? And we'll oh, pick nice. up here next time, so that way you guys don't forget to loot things. Okay. Mm -hmm. For experience, everybody take three hundred and twenty-five. So. So how much experience do you have, Sherbs? I'm going to have uh, 960. Cool, you leveled. So you're level okay. 3 now. Okay. And uh, I'll help you do your uh, leveling stuff off stream if you can spare like 10 extra minutes when we get off. Okay. Shouldn't even take that long. Alright. So for loot, the big guy had on him an arcane focus, obviously. A small knife. A pet mouse. <laughs> Somebody writing this down? The fuck? Why did he have a mouse? Who, who wants to yeah, be the loot keeper? I'm writing, I'm writing it down. I'm right, I'll write it. I'm writing it down. Okay, gotcha. Joey's got it. Okay, okay so start got at the top. Small knife, pet mouse, a bag full of teeth, a net, <laughs> a maul, a dagger, and glamoured studded, studded leather armor. That's the okay. item probably people are going to want to fight yes. over. Who can wear leather? Glamoured Orange. studded leather armor. Uh, it's studded leather, but you can make it look like anything. Well, I can't wear any armor, so... Yeah, I no, I'm, have I'm... on scale mail. Whoever gets it, I'm going to need to, like, inspect it. Because that's what I'm going to be doing is glamouring things. And it should be someone who's stealthy and, and likes to, or, or likes to sneak about or is good at that. Yeah, right. so that'd be good for a ranger, I would say. Yeah, yeah I've got... I think orange yeah, suits it the most. So I can drop my, my current leather armor and pick that up. Yep. So what you're going to do, orange, is on your character sheet, uh, go to equipment and add a line. Uh, then in roll 20, go to the upper right where the compendium is, which is the black circle with an I in it, like the letter I, and click on that. 
It's in the oh. upper right next to like yeah, where yeah. your settings okay. and journal are. Yep. So go in there and search for glamoured studded leather, which is G L A M O U R. Yep. And you can just drag and drop that. Oh. And it should change your uh, AC accordingly. And it should have all the information on it too, right? Yep. I think I have to. I think I have to not have my my character sheet popped out or something. Oh yeah, yeah. it won't work if you have it popped out. Yeah. Okay. I should be able to do it now. A small knife. Uh, if no one needs a small knife, I could use a small knife. Always handy to have. All right, I'll take it. Okay, so that wraps it up for his loot. Um, also, magical medallion. Just write that down. All right. Uh, wizard's magical medallion. I'll know what it is. All okay. right. And for the hobgoblins y'all whooped up on, they were both wearing chainmail and had shields. Additionally, they had long bows and long swords. So, Cherbs, if you would like to replace one of your broken ones, or, or your oh. broken longbow, you can yeah. take one of the hobgoblins' longbows. Yes. How many hobgoblins were there? Two. Two. Okay, so two times all these. Yep. I would like to do. And Sherbs has taken one of the longbows, so you got two long swords and one longbow, along with two chainmail any... and two shields. Any difference between the longbows? They're just kind of a common. Nope. Just okay. flavor differences. It would look like a hobgoblin weapon. And can I roll to the same. Can I roll to search for arrows that I shot? Uh no need. You'd be able to replace the arrows with whatever okay. they had left. So you can go back up to full. And generally at the oh, uh, okay. end of combat, if there's not like, you know, someone that had arrows that you can loot from, you get back half the arrows that you expended during combat. I make people roll. Okay. Well, like that's... however many they roll, I make them roll that as a die and that's how many they get back. Cuz sometimes they'll break, sometimes they'll be just ruined. I'm gonna grab one of those chainmails since mine is just fucked. Okay. Just make sure you mark all the stuff you're taking. Just the chainmail. Uh, there's plenty of javelins to go around because there were six orcs. There's six great axes. Six I hide no armor. I offer the chainmail and shields and weapons and, and stuff to everybody else. I have no interest in in that. And also no way to carry it, so. Yeah. And everybody roll D10. <laughs> I'm good with the nice fails. Okay, let me add this up. A lot of twos there. Yeah, we really hit that one to three range solid. You find 27 gold. Ooh. I'm going to start a small business. I have 510 gold pieces written in my character sheet. I feel like that's a mistake. I haven't been keeping track of gold at all. I've just been trusting you guys that if I need some, you'd give me some. That seems that's right, a bad idea. I have 574 <laughs> gold. Well, I'm very helpful. <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't mind being the group treasury if you. All right, and again, since fun. since we're going late, guys, we'll we'll I'll allow you guys plenty of time to explore this area uh, next week when we get back to it. Sound good? Yep. Mm -hmm. And that way we can get everybody up. All right, so we don't need the turn order anymore. I don't need any of this. We'll I think my middle mouse we... button's starting to break. It's gotta love it. We'll just say that uh, until we decide where the rest of the stuff goes next week, I'll just hold on to it. I have That's a list fine. here. You guys can can go over all that again this week. Yep. That's no big deal. I got the list and I'll send it to the Twitter group too so you guys can take a gander over it. All right. So, let's go ahead and do our shout-outs and we can get on out of here. Uh so we'll start with you, Ewok. Brave, favorite part? Tell people what you Favorite you're doing. part was uh Scruffle being asleep majority of the fight. <laughs> 
Yeah, had a nice That's nap. Nice. I liked my I liked Danderfluff mowing down the goblins. I mean the orcs. That was fun. Right, and I'm just assuming that like somebody's gonna walk up and smack the people that were asleep at the end of combat. Well, I was going to kick Mickey while I was running by, <laughs> wake him up. Uh, Variel's got my links. I've been streaming lots of Seven Days to Die, Fallout 4. Um, I'm thinking right after this, I'm going to make a character in Black Desert, just because. Mm-hmm. Nice. And, uh, but yeah, that's about it. And yeah, she's got my links. Make sure you follow. For sure. Trip. Probably my favorite part was getting hit by a javelin and being like, no, fuck you, and one-shotting the guy. That was pretty neat. Uh, fuck me, I fuck stream... you! <laughs> I stream things at twitch.tv slash Trippenstein, and you can follow me at Trippenstein on Twitter to know when I go live. All right. And next we have the ammo bird. Hi. Hello. Uh... You can follow me at Amro16 on Twitter and Amro's here on Twitch. And uh, I make things sometimes. Crochet like, critters. Like a little baby cocoon. Oh, and, and, and. Oh. Hi. Hi. I don't, I don't have your camera <laughs> up, Joey. Your camera's and covered. And a little squirtle. Of... But yes. Uh, that's about it. All right. Uh, and what was your favorite part tonight, Emma? Um, not dying. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't expecting that combat to drag I on as long alive, as it had. Sorta. But I also had to do the character that I had made justice, so I didn't want to play him stupidly and just run in and die because he's a wizard. My least favorite was rolling fucking ones on my <laughs> heels. As is tradition. All right, next uh, we've got Orange Sherbet. Welcome what back, it? brother. Thanks. Yeah, I uh, quite enjoyed getting roasted. That was that was great. <laughs> <laughs> Got roasted and then Bariel saved me. So thanks, Bariel. Um, yeah, I do stream uh, a lot of survival games. Kind of enjoyed the Daisy. Getting back into that, I'm gonna play that again sure yeah are we wait. playing some of that tonight i'm i'm um, still down to play a little bit oh i'm not gonna be playing it tonight but i definitely oh, okay. will do that in the near future for sure yeah uh, this, next couple days week, we'll we'll do something uh yeah this week i'm gonna be playing some rust uh seeing seeing if i can handle the insanity i'm gonna be joining a hardcore pvp group Let's see what see what happens i'm curious to know if i can handle it i I'm skeptical, but we'll see what happens. I'm sure you'll do fine. All right, next we've got Joey. Hey, I'd say my favorite part was the puzzle in the beginning, just because it's, it's also one of my favorite puzzles. I got fond memories with it. Tied with uh, Danderfluff, just kind of mowing over the uh, majority of the, the baddies. That was pretty cool. Uh, enjoyed that. And then I really wish that... Uh, Mickey would have been conscious to see the awesome <laughs> crit kill punch at the end. But, uh, you know, whatever. Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. You can follow me on Twitter at DMJoey and Twitch at DMJoey. I don't know, my links are all there, sorry. I'm, I'm really out of it, so it might be... No worries, man. And uh, could we get a link up for Heroes of Enderbor as well? Yeah, I apologize for not having a cam tonight. Just did not want to have to worry about all that nonsense so thank you everyone for, for watching and follow me on those things i love you guys all right and next we've got scruffles hola follow me on twitter at c-a-p-t scruffles and on twitch scruffles are you ever gonna stream again i did last night <laughs> i know i'm just messing with you you should stream uh, all night every night all night every day okay that's, that's it. What was your but I didn't want to go live. Oh, uh, fucking critting the fuck out of that dude. Yeah, we kind of have a tradition now of monk crits killing things. Mm -hmm. Seems to be seems to be the way we do business around here. 
Yeah, we gotta have a catchphrase before we do it. We can be like, do the monkey with me, and then we go with the crit punch. I don't know. We'll do something better than that, but you get the idea. Anyway. <laughs> um, <laughs> last but certainly not least, tomorrow night's storyteller, Buckle. Hi. My favorite part was failing at trying to be awesome by riding my shield across the grease. I was so hoping you were going to roll a 20 on that. That would have been pretty dope. But I don't roll. I, I was pulling for you, but it just didn't happen. Yeah. That would have been cooler than me riding Dale as a, a sled down that snowy mountain. Mm -hmm. But I got I got some ideas for the um <clears throat> the new the floaty shield now that I want to exploit. And um, don't worry about any of those links. They don't go anywhere and do anything. But <clears throat> I'll follow all the links for Buckle. Uh, yeah, like you said, I'll be here tomorrow night, which should be if I can keep all of you cats well herded, should be the finale of the Thomas and Blood. <clears throat> but no promises, no promises. We'll see how it goes. I don't know about all that, but <laughs> we'll do our very best. We will do our very best. We'll see okay. How it goes. See how it goes. So I've got a couple things to go over. Um, the hunt for Marmite slash Vegemite continues. Um, I'll be going to a store sometime this week up by my parents' house to see if they have it. Actually, I'm probably going to call them first so I don't just drive up there. If they don't have it, I'm going to order it on Amazon. I did find that Amazon will ship Vegemite to U.S. customers. I did some Googling. I made sure I can get actual Vegemite. So... Don't worry, it's still definitely happening. I didn't forget. I'm not going to Welsh on that. Um, it's just, it's something that's harder for me to find than I thought it was. Like, I could have swore I saw it in grocery stores around here, but, like, everyone I've gone to, they're like, yeah, we don't have that. Do you have a world market no. in your area? You don't? Oh. No, there's, like, two chains that I can choose from, pretty much. Two chains. Two chains! Two chains! <laughs> yeah. Two chains. Uh, but, yeah, it's... It's something that'll definitely be happening. I just, it might be like a week or two from now. Depend, like if I have to order it from Amazon, I have to wait for them to ship it. So however long that takes. Uh, so once I have it, I'll let you guys know when I'll be doing that social eating stream. Additionally, if in the next couple days we get that next 200 some odd dollars to fill up the goat bar, I will be eating pig's feet. I'm very anxious about that because I really don't want to do it, but I will. So, if you're sadistic and you got some money to burn, you can force me to probably ratchet and gag on stream because it's going to be bad. I know it's going to be bad. This will be the worst. This will be the worst one so far. It's just the idea of it. But anyway, um, thank you everybody to uh, who's resubscribed and also followed the channel tonight. I just hit 2,500 followers recently so that was very very cool um so i'll keep it short and sweet i love you guys keep coming back and watching uh we will be streaming tomorrow night with vampire at 10 p.m eastern standard time tuesday is heroes of enderbor on barrows boys channel at 8 p.m eastern standard time uh wednesday i don't have anything planned yet i might be doing a strange eons i'm gonna ask some people see who's up for it uh because i haven't done that in a while i want to get back into the habit uh, thank you for the follow, uh, Kohaku Ryu. I probably destroyed that name, but welcome. Thank you for the follow. And on Thursday, we will be starting up a new 5th edition campaign, which is going to turn the world of D&D &D on its head. You guessed it. Evil player characters. They will be playing the villains. So for that, we've got Dust, Trip, Scruffles, and Ewok. And that's mm -hmm. going to be a blast, because I have some very, very cool plans for that. And uh, as I've mentioned before, there will be some cameo appearances between that game and uh, Divinity of Pain, um, as the two are kind of running concurrently. And actually, Dawn of the Dark Walker is... It's almost a response to what's happening in Divinity of Pain. But we'll get into more of that on Thursday. I don't want to give too much of the story away. You guys gotta come in and watch uh, but we had a great crowd here tonight as we usually do you guys are all amazing uh thank you very much for being part of my community and uh investing your time in uh watching my streams it's a really big compliment very thankful to have all of you here players included so thank you everybody i love all of your beautiful faces 
I will be hosting somebody when we are done, so stick around for that. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, with that, we're going to call it a night. Uh, Chris so, just trying to sleep, man. Everybody, we can do the waving thing, and we're going to get on Bye. out of here. See ya! Bye! <laughs> Bye-bye.